Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, my name is James Intricasso, he, him, I'm the lead game designer over at MCDM. Uh, and today we have a fun stream for you. We are going to be showing off one of the layers in Where Evil Lives, which is our book of 22 short dungeons for 5e currently on Backer Kit. Uh, it uses all of the creatures in Flea Mortals, which is our monster book of 339 stat blocks, which is available in PDF on our store. Uh, and I'm sure people will talk more about that. We're here to promote those things but we're mostly here to have a lot of fun i'm your game master for this evening and why don't we go around and uh, we'll meet everybody and we'll talk about which characters you're playing and why don't we start with uh uh, uh matt uh colville is it uh would you like to introduce yourself yeah so hey everybody i'm playing i think i may have played this character on another stream um earlier i'm playing lynn who is my talent character in fact i think lynn was the first talent pc ever made when we were first testing the talent, the talent is MCDM's um, fifth edition custom psionic class and rules for psionics in general. And we're all fifth level. So J Lynn is a fifth level telekinetic, which means I can move shit with my brain. Um, I guess we could all do that. It's just that I don't have to use my muscles. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I'm looking forward to showing off how this class works. And I think you're going to be able to buy this class in like sometime in September. I don't know. That's about it. That's about what I know pretty cool also uh, lynn yes. this is more this is actually more for the players i think we already talked about this lynn is mute uh so there's going to be a lot of me kind of describing what lynn's expressions are and her attitude and communicating her body language very fun uh and uh, continuing right along uh, just below me uh, jen kretschmer jen uh, tell people who you are and hey. who you're playing Hey, I am Jen Kretschmer, uh, she, they. I am an author, game designer, performer, disability consultant. I do a, a bunch of stuff. Um, uh, and today I am playing Naya, who is a Fearbog Circle of Spores druid uh, that I'm going to flavor a little bit with some goodies and style, hopefully. You're a Fearbog. Fearbog. That's cool. Fearbog. So you're like a, a, yeah. a like a like a mutant uh, giant. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, this is a, f a fae, a fae wild influenced giant kin. I just I'm Gen not sure I've ever seen a fear hiding. I'm not sure I've but played my, with a fear my, I'm playing with the. Yeah, Naya though is a little bit of a modified fear bulb in terms of how she's flavored. She's a. Uh, She's she's more in the uh, Venus flytrap family of of oh, okay. spores druid fear bulgs. <laughs> so well, a little different than your traditional uh, sweet and gentle fear bulgs. But also, all of my fear bulgs sound like they're from Fargo. So <laughs> <laughs> excellent, <You're> excellent. <laughs> uh, and uh, continuing right uh, across the screen here, uh, Cat is with us. Cat, why don't you let people know who you are and who you're playing? Hi there, I am Kat Kruger, my pronouns are she, her, and I am a narrative game designer. Uh, some of the things I've worked on are Flea Mortals. I wrote the, I designed the Hobgoblins. Uh, I've also done a few things for Arcadia, which has been fun. You might see that as part of, uh, I have some items that I put in my character sheet um, from there. <laughs> uh, and I've, you know, I've done things like uh, written the ARG for Blood and Baldur's Gate ahead of uh, the Baldur's Gate 3 release. Um, and yeah, I am playing Nyx, who is a tiefling and Styx, who is uh, her beast companion. And I'm playing a beast heart for the first time. I'm really excited oh, wow. about this because uh, it's going to be really cool. I, I got to tell you. Got a little uh, hell hellhound. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, what a great pet. Um, I got to tell you, Kat, the, the <laughs> hobgoblins are one of the most popular monsters in the book. So good job on them because I think on it, it, so if you much. look through like, uh, the scale of which monsters did you never really think about using before and now they're at the top of your I just need some awesome bad guys list I think that's hobgoblins people are like these are amazing these are way I, why would I use orcs and all this other stuff now so a plus on those uh thank you so much I love hearing that the the direction that I got from James was really cool because it's just like infernal heritage and just like ran with it you know <laughs> that's cool yeah well yeah people like them really really cool hey. I, i'm excellent in fact i almost considered running the hobgoblin dungeon today but 
you also wrote that. Uh, so it seems <laughs> yes. like that would not be a good idea. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, moving right along, uh, Matt, do you, Matt O'Driscoll, would you like to tell people uh, who you are and who you're playing? Uh, well, you did call me Matt O'Driscoll, which is a rare name for me to use these days because most people call me OD. Uh, in my spare time, I make uh, video games at Turtle Rock Studios, but um, today, I'm lucky enough to be playing some Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I'm going to be playing Yi Snor Brewmaster, who was a character I played in uh, the Valengard game that Phil ran, I don't know, 2019, maybe 2018. I can't remember. It's sort of the, the, the time before. And um, he is a male uh, hill dwarf bard. Um, he's very, um, he's very creative in making beer out of anything. He can make it out of flowers or insects or even purple worms. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, that's Yeastor. <laughs> and he's very northern. You say his name like Yeastor <laughs> Brew, Brew Master. Bloody hell. Oh, yes. Bloody hell. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. Well, I'm very excited to see what exactly you end up turning into beer today. Uh, and uh, finally, uh, Kevin, would you like to introduce yourself and uh, tell us about your character? Yeah, my name is Kevin, also known as T1J, um, he, him. Follow me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, um, <laughs> I have a YouTube channel where I do commentaries and essays on politics and media and pop culture and stuff like that. And I also love D&D and tabletop stuff, and I'm happy to be here. And uh, today I'm playing Orsmar, the Path of the Storm Herald Barbarian. Path of the Storm Herald. What is? I do not know what the Path of the Storm Herald is. What does that do? Um. Well, unfortunately, at this level, I don't get a lot of the cool stuff. But <laughs> not they, much. Uh, <laughs> I haven't met the Storm Herald they, yet. <laughs> uh, um, I do get a pretty cool um, storm aura that can affect my allies, and hopefully, I can get to use that. That's cool. That's awesome. That's excellent. Um, well, of course, uh, all of your characters have been brought together by Lady Vig, um, who is, of course, a uh, noble in the area uh, who has gotten some complaints from merchants recently about an exorbitant bridge toll along the high road. Um, and she, it, it sounds like these merchants are being extorted as they travel along this bridge, uh, which is near a mill. Uh, it's an old mill that hasn't really been in operation for the last five years called Burnock Mill. Um, and so Lady Vig has called you all together to uh, check this out. Now, this is your first time all working together, um, but Lady Vig has known of your exploits individually, perhaps with other adventuring parties. Um, and she is the one who has brought you all together with the promise of after collecting from the merchants, uh, they want to give you 2,000 gold pieces uh, to uh, to figure out what is going on, who is collecting this toll, because none of that money is going to Lady Feig, and this land is under her protection. Um, so something out there is suspicious. Uh, something weird is going on. She wants you to find the people who are creating the toll, figure out what's going on, and put a stop to it. Pretty simple. It's your average adventuring setup stuff. I'm sure everything is fine and dandy. Um, and so uh, we find you, our heroes, traveling south along the road, uh, approaching uh, this uh, bridge. And as you make your way to the bridge, um, you can see that there are a couple of people who are standing atop it. It's this covered bridge that has all of these different beams and stuff on it. Um, and uh, so atop the bridge are four humans um there are three sort of young they all kind of look alike uh almost like they are brothers maybe even triplets um who are standing together none of them are wearing armor and then there is a older man with a long white beard and long uh bushy white hair uh and then there is also a very tough looking woman who is unarmed um who is standing with her arms crossed uh, on the bridge. Um, you notice this from a distance as you are making your approach towards it. Hmm. 
Well, so these appear to be people. Well, actually, yeah. This is. Um, so I assume these are the people that are collecting the toll. Uh, yeah, East North's probably got. Hey, up you lot! Are you that lot collecting toll? <laughs> We've come to have a word with you. <laughs> hey, up! <laughs> Uh, so when you do that, the woman, um, gives like this very big, deep bow. She's standing on the bridge itself. The rest are up on these crisscrossing beams, um, that cover the bridge. Um, and, uh, she says, why, yes, you've heard that there is indeed a toll. Uh, and she takes a moment to count all of you. Um, Nyx, uh, is, is sticks the hellhound currently out at the moment or uh you have a um you have a ball uh a, an orb <laughs> that you can keep sticks inside if you would like um and you know you could throw it to release him uh it's a uh you know non-franchise related magic orb that you can keep pets in mm -hmm. yep <laughs> a monster ball if you will <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Pocket monster ball. <laughs> yeah. uh, I I think that uh, Sticks is probably still uh, contained, uh, and I, yeah. Okay, so if if Sticks is still contained, she counts you up and says, "Okay, five people. Well, that'll be five hundred gold pieces then for the toll." Um, so go ahead, empty your pockets. Of course, we do accept uh, gems. Uh, we're willing to accept um, items of great power, potions, scrolls, if you have them, anything like that, if you don't have the coin. Um, but they might want to recount as Naya becomes invisible. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, Pops away. She has to be funny if she went, oh, uh, 400 gold. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, I gotta, I gotta you, help out my team, just in there's case. Like a, there's like this moment of uh, confusion on her face, and she says, "Yes, five hundred gold. That's right. That's what it'll be." Um, she, you can see that she has realized something is gone, but she's not going back on her word here. That she's, she said five hundred. She's sticking to it. Right um. Now. Yeah, so is this is this the the it's person in front of us? <laughs> I, so there are four yes, people, this is five the people on the bridge, who is and the person closest northernest. to us is the woman who is talking to us. Yes. Um, well, then, so am I in control? Can I move my character? How do I do that? Wait, hang on a minute. Uh, select move. There we go. I had pan. Ner Lynn is going to walk up to this woman. Actually, okay. I, I, I don't, I'm not trying to act out of turn or anything like that. I'm not trying to... Anybody else could go and stop me or trying to get between me and her. But I'm trying to figure out what the um, standby for one second. 15 feet. So that's 5, 10, 15. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, Lynn has a very purposeful look on her face. Uh, and she's going to walk up to this woman and she's going to manifest flay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Lynn, okay. doesn't, Lynn doesn't Matt, fuck around. For, for the for the viewers at home and for uh, folks <laughs> in the game who may be unfamiliar with the talent, what is Flay? Um, it's basically like it's a second it's a second order power. It's a second order a metamorphosis mm -hmm. power, and it's basically like Cyclops eye beams, except they're made out of prismatic energy instead of ruby red light, and mm -hmm. it's a fifteen foot cone. So unfortunately, I think like I'd have to like. I'll get I'll get her and I'll get the person behind her into her left. No, not that one. So this that's, is a straight up attack uh, that's happening right now. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> look, Liz, we're, okay. we're, we're, we're fifth level. We're fifth level, which means we the, we're not. This isn't our first rodeo, right? And Lynn's like, okay, fucking bandits, get out of here. Like, <laughs> right, right. She doesn't, Lynn has a wildly a wildly uncalculated understanding of her own abilities and so her attitude is like fuck these people um <laughs> it, it, but that has no bearing on whether or not she's likely to live she's very likely to get herself <laughs> killed if she does this but that's um i think tj is tj is t1j oh. breaking up is kevin breaking up or am i yeah he broke up a little yes. bit from me yeah oh yeah he's, 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 he's he, yeah we come can't back. unfortunately come back Kevin. No. unfortunately the internet so i have to um 
Oh, my manifestation die, I believe, is a d6 right now. Yes, I think that is correct as a fifth level talent. Uh, so the way talents work while Matt's getting his dice together is essentially when they manifest a power, their power has an order, um, and they roll a manifestation die, and if they roll under, they don't take any strain, right? Um, you could theoretically continue to manifest forever. If you roll over, uh, talent gains a resource called strain, which is not great to have. It's sort of like a, a different buff. form of exhaustion, a better form yeah. of exhaustion, if you will. Um, and that will, uh, as Lynn takes exhaustion, she'll have disadvantage on certain saving throws and uh, and ability checks, and she might not heal as well. And it could take so much strain that she could... Uh, Matt would have to choose to do this, but Lynn could actually die um, in trying Correct. to manifest a power. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I have a maximum. You want to make like uh, a very heroic last stand. So, so there, you can't see this on my character sheet, well, but you can because if I, if I show it off, I've got, I've got this track here at the bottom. There's three columns and oh, well, one body. Oh, hey, welcome back. Oh, Yay. Hey. Hello. Um, yeah. it's back. Hey. Hey. I've got three, <laughs> I've got three strain tracks, body, mind, and soul. And right now, because of my level, I can have a maximum of nine strain. So if I ever take 10 strain, I literally, do I just die or do I pass out? Do I expire? So you, ah! if you get, if you exceed your strain maximum, you can choose to manifest the power that you were manifesting and die. Yeah, yeah or, and die. fair enough. Right after you do it, this or fall fine. unconscious and start dying and not manifest. So that's the, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. So it's a choice. You have to, you, you, you know when you're doing it. Okay, well, I've got nine strain, and we're desperate, so I'm going to do this thing. However, we're not right. there yet. So I'm going to roll a d6, and I am trying to roll a, a two or higher, or above a two. Actually, it's written right so, in front of me. Higher. So yeah. I got to roll three or higher. 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 Yes. I, spoke I rolled a six. Nice. All right. So, so you manifest the power. Yes. Uh, and Flay is a 15 foot cone. So it's st actually, yeah. I'm not going to fight. Actually, uh, friendly game. Sure. Can I walk yeah. right up to this woman? <laughs> yeah. Hey, sure. Uh, Lynn, I mean, I don't know how tall this woman is, but Lynn is almost certainly shorter than her. Um, and yeah. so it's, it's this um, square she's standing in, and then it would be this square this square, mm -hmm. this square, this one, and this one. So I'm going to get her and this guy. And it is, um, I mean, Lynn doesn't talk, so there's no negotiation, right? Um, <laughs> 2d6. So uh, each creature in the area has to make an intelligent save. I picked okay. that on purpose because oh. bad guys are usually stupid. <laughs> Okay, um, they both failed. I don't even need to know what your power save DC is. Both uh, good, because off the top of my head, I don't, I don't, oh, it's almost certainly um, eight. Plus, in fact, it's written down here. Okay, cool. I got to copy it in pencil. Um, 2d6, psychic damage on a failed save. I think that's just it. 2d6, and I rolled a five and a one, which is uh, six damage. Six damage, okay. And these, so. are, um, these are my dice from the Middle Earth collectible card game which have the Eye of Sauron stamped on them for the one, which oh, wow. which I'm very happy with. So yeah, I, I, I beam, uh, my uh, eyes glow, and this um, splash of like um, prismatic napalm shoots out of my eyes and washes over these two people and fries them to some small extent. And now we find out whether or not this person's a minion. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because, <laughs> so, so Flea Mortals uh, introduces minions, and if minions take damage after they fail a saving throw, they automatically expire, um, right? Failing failing a saving throw or hitting them with an attack automatically makes a minion expire. Uh, and in this case, the uh, individual in the rafters, one of these people in the rafters, um, does indeed fall down from the rafters, the, the guy you hit back here, and uh, hits the ground with a sizzling thump um, and is indeed dead because he was a me. Uh, and so Sweet. he is gone. However, the woman who is right in front of Lynn now is yeah. very much still standing um, and is very much upset uh, and raises her fists. And I think we need to roll for initiative. There's a, there's well, a writer well, here. While, while, there Lynn is, while Lynn is doing this, may I do something because I am invisible? Yeah, sure. But I, yes. um, I would like to activate my shillelagh and also yes. uh um pop on my uh symbiotic entity 
Okay. Are you Cynthia, so, uh, are you from uh, oh. No one can see this happening, but if you could, cool you would see um yeah, you would see a bunch of small pods that start out as white flowers and quickly bloom into uh, open red um, uh, flower-like, um, almost clamshells around me that start swirling and floating. Uh, and my uh, my quarterstaff grind, uh, vines start to grow around it with thorns on it. Um, That's awesome. I'm invisible, so you can't see it. That is awesome. Um, Right. Also, the I beams. I have dynamic power. Mm -hmm. uh, when a medium or smaller creature is hit by an attack roll uh, for a power you manifest, or fails a saving throw against a power you manifest, um, oh, I could. Ooh, ooh, this is the thing I have to choose to do. I can gain two strain to move them fifteen feet in any direction. I'm going to do that. I'm going to gain okay. two strain. Uh, <laughs> I am going to um, take body strain and um, soul strain right now so i've okay. got one and one um and i am going to push it now it's up to you james how to interpret this um 15 feet in any direction yep literally how, any you can straight up if you would like want to um well any, how about anywhere you 15 want. feet in this direction yep <laughs> <laughs> splash I thought you might want to do that. Uh, Dynamic good power, is... uh, FYI, is like a meta magic kind of thing. Uh, like uh, every talent can pick um, one of these. I, I, I chose the one that pushes people away, but you could do the thing where you like areas of effects are bigger or d durations last longer, kind of standard stuff. Anyway, continue. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, the good news I is. I wanted uh, to. Such um, a... oh, when okay. he. Uh, yeah. When, yeah, yeah. Uh, when I disconnected, I wanted to just run up so I can be in front of everyone. When I saw that he was oh, like, yeah. you know, when I saw that ah. he was being aggressive, if yeah, possible. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. You can absolutely Just... move up if you would like to. Okay. Uh, to wherever you would like. Um, that would have been cooler. That makes sense. That would have been cooler. <laughs> Start with the barbarian <laughs> charging in the battle. Uh, uh, but yeah. All right. So, uh, and good news, I... a handy book like um, where evil lives has rules for what happens when you get thrown into this river. So, uh, so we can talk about that, but, uh, definitely it is a 10 foot fall off the bridge into the water splash. Um, so she's going to fall into the water and now we'll roll for initiative. Well, Ye yeast knows kind of got a, a mug of beer in his hand. He's kind of looking, he's like, what? Someone just disappeared. She just ran up and lasers come out of eyes. Oh my god. What? Oh my god, she's just fallen in river. This is stronger than I thought. <laughs> that is excellent. Uh... All right. So, uh let's see. Who got above 20 for initiative? I did. I got a 24. I, I apologize. I haven't rolled yet. I have to not roll the die. On the dot. A dirty 20. I have to not roll the die that Luke Gygax gave me, which has a 20-sided die, but it's numbered 1 to 10 twice. I don't like that die very much. I already used that use, on... That's hard mode. I already used that on OD months ago. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, anybody get uh, below I got, 20? Oh, sorry. What'd you yeah, get, Lynn? I got a 19. 19. Okay, nice. And what did you get, Jan? I got 5. Nice. Not so nice, but uh, but I'll take it. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, it's nice uh, from him. From his point of view, he's delighted. He's like, "Yay!" <laughs> Od, what'd you get? I mean, uh, no I'm one can 12. see me, so it's it's okay. It's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any danger? <laughs> all right, and all, everybody. Nobody I knows have what is you really got. <laughs> in between, I'll, I'll be standing by for the second wave that's hiding in the yet. bushes. Yeah. <laughs> you can just tell them, "Hey, I was uh, all this the time. I was invisible. I was doing stuff." <laughs> um, I well, was working. Means... I don't know about about all of you. I was I was doing stuff. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, uh, top of the round, it is uh, Nix's turn. Uh, I think Nix is going to uh, move up, and uh, because the the woman in the water seems to be leading everyone, uh, she's going to target that individual. Um, so okay. Nyx has this um, like tattoo on her arm that looks just on, on part of her arm that sort of looks like um, uh, smoke swirls. 
Uh, it's a grasping oh. coil tattoo, and she's just going to uh, reach her arm out towards the water, and like swirls of smoke kind of go out and form around the woman in the water. Uh, so it's going to make um, it's grasping tendrils. Uh, so she needs nice. to succeed on a DC 14 strength saving throw. Okay. Oh Here man, it's been a long time since I played 5e. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see. So that is a failure. Uh, oh no. All right. So yay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I am going to roll uh, 3d6 then. Okay. Uh, so she's going to take uh, 13 points of force damage uh, and be grappled. So I'm assuming because okay. she's in the water grappled, uh, there's a chance of her possibly drowning. Uh, yeah, that makes sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, doesn't drowning. I mean, yeah, she's in the water and she's on. Yeah, yeah she's in the water and yeah. can't move. And she's so. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> uh, so I think Nix. <laughs> uh, so I think uh, Nix is just going to shout down. Uh, 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 if you didn't want to drown, you ought to uh, uh, tell your boys off. Call them off. Oh, that sounds no. good. A threat. It's a negotiation. Well, no, it's not. It's a threat. <laughs> <laughs> Very friendly negotiation. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, that is going to be. It. Is there anything else you want to do, Nix? Can uh, I'm not sure what the rules are on throwing uh, sticks out. Is that uh, yeah? You can throw them out as a bonus action? action if you'd like to throw out sticks all right. for sure. Well, sticks is going to get tossed into the mix then. Uh, probably toss up towards oh, one of the man. rafters here. I should have played okay, these part with throw a pet named beam. Stones. They would have sticks and stones. <laughs> oh my gosh, uh, yes. Uh, that would be so good. That would be good. <sighs> so you if I survive. this magic ball <laughs> uh, and it hits the rafters and it opens up and this hound made of fire and brimstone and hell stuff is now out there on top of the uh, the the beams, um, and you can see that there's a little bit of like uh, th these uh, the three individuals who are left up here are looking around at each other, and the two younger ones turn to the older one with the long beard, um, and his eyes glow, and storm stuff starts to crackle around him, um, and it looks like he's getting ready to cast some kind of spell, but it's not his turn yet, so. Or Smar, it's your turn. Yeah, I want to see this. Uh, this is pretty cool. <clears throat> Let's see. So we've all done cool things. They're... Oh, now it's your turn. <laughs> Do something awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no, pressure. no pressure. You said these two guys are in a, at a higher elevation, like up on the rafters. Yes, yes. So they're said? like ten feet above, up top, oh, uh, okay. on this. You know, the bridge is made with these beams that go up it looks like the beams have lots of like hooks and uh you know uh, uh pieces of nail and stuff outcropping that like if you were to go over you might be able to climb up one of the side beams one of these support beams here and then you would be able to make your way up top if you wanted to climb up top um i think um i think i'm just gonna just run across the bridge so that the old the old guy at the end just charge that guy yeah yeah oh, okay cool uh, yeah. um so he is up in those rafters as well so you oh, have to oh he like is a mighty okay. leap to get to him okay but i'm cool with that if you are why are these guys they should be down here why are they gotta oh. be annoying <laughs> <laughs> not their first well, let me actually they're also fifth level <laughs> oh okay okay number let me think about that i think he i thought he was on the ground let me can i can i like just throw a javelin at this closest guy to me like maybe get oh little, yeah like up under absolutely absolutely yeah you can try to hurl a javelin through the beams at him yeah i'll do that now um, i can i can probably... grant you some bonus movement oh. if that would help kevin i don't know if you're trying to get to the storm guy 
Um, I don't. No, I think. I mean, I have. I think okay. I have enough movement to get there. No worries. But, um, I think I'm just gonna try to take him out one by one if I can. Sounds good. Uh, so yeah, I'll just I'll throw a javelin. Go for it. And let's see. That's a natural twenty. Oh, nice. Okay, nice. nice. All right. <laughs> So go ahead and roll up the damage because there's actually something special when you're attacking uh, minions with a ranged attack in a line like this, right? See how they're sort of formed in a line? There is a special Ooh. thing that happens where if you roll enough damage, your weapon goes through one and into the next one in the line, right? Ooh. It's like a bolt of lightning. So go ahead and roll up that damage because they're both minions and you could end up killing them both. Okay. That is 11 damage. Okay, nice. So that means that you are, uh, it is enough that this first one uh, dies. The javelin goes through their chest and they fall into the river, uh, floating away. However, it does not, this last, this one behind is able to dodge out of the way as the javelin comes along. Okay. Um, I have extra attack. I, I think that applies to the the javelin oh, yeah. as well. Is Absolutely. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can will... anytime you make an attack, you can attack twice. I'll move a little bit closer and try the other javelin, the other guy. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I promise I'm not lying. I rolled another net twenty. <laughs> <laughs> hey. yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you can you roll? Can you roll for all of us, please, Kevin? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Roll yes. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, this beginning. guy, uh, Jen, yeah. it sounds like she's muted. Yeah. Jen, I think you're. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I was saying we were joking about this before the stream. And we manifested it into oh, right. being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Congratulations! This is awesome. Wow, <laughs> I have a really good, I have a really positive feeling about this. Nice. Yeah, and that's ten <laughs> damage on that one. All right. Well, that is. Uh, this is another minion. So that you know, means this is, um, a somewhat this novel strategy that I've never considered before. Just, just roll twenties. This game be a lot easier. <laughs> D and D be a lot easier if you just there roll twenties. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yep. Simply yep. just roll those. Simply 20s. just. Everybody who oh, said somebody this layer was going to take said, a long time. Yeah, uh, Nat One J, like T One J, but with Nat Nat Twenty. Nat One J. Well done. Uh, yeah, amazing. So that one also goes down, and the uh, uh, the human with the beard in the back goes, "Those were my boys," um, and uh, is getting rather angry at you now Osma or Orsmar um, which means that though it is now Lin's turn on. again and then Yisnor on deck okay wait is who again Lin oh so it's where this uh, that's the round's over no so we're back to um, oh that was well, a surprise. Had... you had a surprise round basically we got a surprise round uh, I got it. yeah yeah um Kevin what were you gonna say uh, well, I was trying to see if I have more movement. I, I would, if I was just going to oh, yeah. move a little bit closer to the guy. Absolutely. Yeah. So you've got, uh, you can essentially move probably what, what's your speed? 30, 35, um, 40. So, oh, great. So you can move eight squares. Each square is five feet. Diagonals don't matter, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of so how here. we measure them. They count as one. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, um, um... I can move all the way over here. Oh shit! Excellent. Okay, uh, I'm done. <laughs> I, I am going to stand by. Um, yeah. Okay. Just because I've this is I've never done this before. I'm going to try to do something kind of crazy. Uh, I'm going to try to manifest. I only know I know five first order powers, which I don't, they're like cantrips. I don't have to roll to manifest those. I know five second order powers. I got to roll a d6 and I have to roll above a two to manifest those. I know one third order power and I'm going to try to manifest that. I'm going to try to roll above a three. See what happens. <laughs> I got to roll on the table. Otherwise it doesn't count. I did not do it. 
So now I rolled a three. Well, you still manifest. So now you just take I the strain. correct. Now I take another strain. I am going to take. Uh oh, I'm going to take a mind strain. So now I've got. Um, now I've got one mind, one body, and one soul strain, and I manifest dagger of the mind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Who cares? What is this name? Yeah, um, <laughs> Lynn lashes out with her mind to psychically damage a storm wizard that she can see within 60 feet. The storm wizard must make an intelligence saving throw. On a oh. failed save, the target takes 4d10 psychic damage. That is not an insignificant number. I gotta find four 10-sided dice. Um, or, uh, uh, yeah, oh, and they can only take the dash, disengage, or dodge action on their next turn. Oh no! My cool things! <laughs> you said we all get to do cool things. Uh, okay, here's another D10. Alright, so um, on a success, they take half damage and can take their turn normally. So, 4D10. Um, 26 damage. Oh my. Alright, and I got and a. Threes. I got a 13. On my saving. Uh, my DC is 50. Which... It's 8 plus, 8 plus 3 plus 4. All right. So that is... Uh, how much damage again, Matt? I'm sorry. 20... 26. Okay. So 26 it, damage. It would be cool if this dude's brain exploded. <laughs> That'd be neat. <laughs> but he's yeah, probably still there, alive. <laughs> there's a power for that. It's called brain overload. Uh, and Really? That's cool. I should think of it. it. Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yes. Yeah, so you can see the, the lightning goes out of... Uh, his eyes as he kind of grabs his head in pain. Um, and is there anything else you'd like to do, Lynn? Uh, I think that's enough. Yeah. No, I'm fine. Everything, we're all fine down here. How are you? Uh, so that means it is Yeastnor's turn. Um, so like the storm guy looks like he's in a lot of trouble, right? Uh, yes, as does the woman currently restrained by smoke in yeah. the water. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I guess uh, the storm, the storm guy might be the more, uh, the more dangerous of the of the two. So, although Colvilsig changed my, uh, changed my plan. So let's see. Oh, that's sixty feet. Okay, maybe we'll do that. How dare, How dare he? But it's fine. Um, how far away? Let's move up a bit. I can only move 25. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'll go and stand next to Lynn. That'll please her. Hello, Lynn. Hey, up, Lynn. And then one, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, I've got plenty of range. I am going to try and shatter the storm wizard. So it is a saving throw of Constitution 14 for you, James. Okay. Constitution. Not... Aha, aha, wait. Maybe my luck has changed here. Okay, 22. Well, in that case, you are only going to take half of this damage. Fine. Which would be... <laughs> <laughs> wow, I rolled an 11. Round up, right? No, round down. <laughs> I know. That's a colossal five hit points. Five bloody hit points. Right. With shatter. All right. So there's this a loud crack of thunder um, as yes. the wizard ugh, gets shattered. Um, anything else you'd like to do? Uh, no, I'm good. Um, so it's my turn now. Uh, the woman in the water to escape, is it an action that she needs to use, Kat, to break out? Uh, yeah, she needs to uh, escape the grapple by succeeding on a DC 14, either strength athletics or dexterity acrobatics check. Okay, and that's her whole action, which is great. Just great. Um, <laughs> so uh, she is going to use her action to attempt to do that. Uh, uh, let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so that's a 12, so I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, so she is struggling uh, and is restrained here in the water. Um, and it's just sort of continuing to sputter and uh, 
and she manages to get her mouth above the water just for a moment and says, Warn Uthrak! Um, and as she says that, then, the wizard, who cannot use any of his spells because of Dagger of the Mind, starts to gingerly <laughs> old man climb down the, the like, the, <laughs> the pole here. Uh, which takes him a, a fair amount of his movement and then is going to just start running towards the windmill off in, or not, I'm sorry, it's not a windmill, it's a watermill off in the distance. So, let's go come this way. To there. Do I have um, anything? Do I have a reaction? Yeah, no. he got he got a lot of movement there, didn't he? The old wizard that struggled to get down, and he's just zip. Well, I'm yeah, off. but that's uh, that's mm -hmm. a double move for him, so he uh, okay. yeah. moved yeah. that he's far. All oh, right. Yeah. Um, Nobody so, was in yeah, range he's... to AOL, right? I... Uh, I don't have a I don't have a reaction saying? I could use. No. Uh. Um, and he, uh, you can you can hear him. He's sort of doing that thing that. Um, when an older person with vocal nodes tries to yell, but they can't really yell. Like, it's not super loud. It's like, hey, hey. Um, uh, so that's the thing that he is doing as he's running off towards the mill. I would like to stop him from warning anybody, but we'll see. We'll see if we can. Well, do. Naya, you're up. All right. Um, let's see what we can do here um let's finish off this lady here i think she's just dangling off the bridge or she's fully unreachable oh she's at that she's, point. she's she's submerged in in... <laughs> yeah but if you stood at the edge of like if you stood on the bridge near her near her you'd be able to reach her probably okay um then I will go ahead and uh, at the beginning of my turn, my invisibility vanishes. Um, and so you see Naya, who is, you know, seven plus feet tall, shock of um, watermelon red hair, um, sort of starting to haul over to the edge of the bridge, um, covered in these kind of dense vines that have, have appeared since she uh, vanished, um, wielding the shillelagh. And I'm going to go ahead and take a swing. Um, because she is all restrained and such, is that an auto? Uh, so you, uh, you would have advantage uh, because she is restrained. One with an advantage. Oh, yeah. Cool. So. Oh, I can. We can roll dice and chat. I'm stupid. Why wasn't I doing that? Oh, you. I mean, you can roll dice however you like. So, yeah, sure. So twenty. Some people love their math rocks. Twenty-three. Two hits. That, that'll do it. <laughs> cool. Incredibly, um, that hits. Shockingly. Um, okay, mm -hmm. so with a symbiotic entity, I get to do an extra one d six on this and I'm going to do 1d plus 4 on the shillelagh. It's cheating. So we get this plus this plus am I missing anything else that I get with this? I think that's a bit. Um, and then Somebody took a hit. No. No, nobody's. No one on your side has been damaged. <laughs> then it's been a... uh... <laughs> one side, and none of us ever will be. <laughs> Should have rigged this oh, wait, bridge with explosives. <laughs> Wow, those were terrible rolls. So yeah, uh, so it's a total of seven points of damage. Okay. Kind of disappointing, but oh well. Every little bit counts. And did did you move Jen to get closer to her on the bridge? I, I did. Yeah, I'll move myself. No. I'm sorry. I will move no, myself no, that's over. Okay. Oh, or or you can move me over. I was. That's fine. I did not mean to move. I was just. I was asking as I was doing. No, no, that's fine. Time I won't move your token. I promise. Uh, no, no, you're fine. That. Thank you for. 
Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, okay, so you reach down. Uh, and you're and hitting her with the shillelagh. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so she's been hit, and spores are coming off of this thing that are enhancing the damage. That's really cool. Uh, and we're back. Uh, then yeah, to the the, top. The, my spores are like the little the little pods, which just sort of nip at her instead. Oh, that's um, awesome. So that's great. Flavoring that. Oh, cool. Okay, that's really cool. So the 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 they're little like Venus flytrappy pods. They're little they're Venus flytraps. Yeah. That's cool. Instead of um, uh, instead of spores. Awesome. Uh, so Nyx, it is your turn now that your companion is out. Your companion generates ferocity at the start of the turn. Um, 1d4 plus 1 plus the number of enemies adjacent, which right now is 0. So it's 1d4 plus 1 ferocity is what you would generate at the start of the turn. Um, and then you can do whatever you would like. All right. Uh, so I got a 5 for ferocity. Um, mm -hmm. And wow. I think... I think uh, Styx is going to lean over and just kind of like, like almost like a, a, a cat, you know, hacking. Um, mm -hmm. And Lava yeah. is going to just like spew out <laughs> nice. its, its mouth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> down, so down towards this. Yeah. I don't yeah. know why that cracks me. <laughs> of a dog doing that kind of cat thing where they kind of go, yeah. And then you flop it, you rub <laughs> down. Then, yeah. Ah! <laughs> yeah, all right. So, uh, all right. So I need to make a, an attack roll for. Um, for sticks then yes that is uh and with advantage 13. because your target is restrained oh that's right um uh 16 16 i'll definitely do it all right um deals what is the damage on this on a hit the attack deals an extra oh, okay uh so is it 2d6 yes James? so it's your signature attack is okay. that what you're you're using right now yeah yeah 2d6 yeah. plus three so that is uh 11 okay nice burning and sizzling so yeah just sizzling down and there's there's extra smoke that comes off the water i imagine on top of like the grasping uh smoke yeah. that's already around the the individual <laughs> and like the tentacles working in tandem right to lift her out of the water to get hit with lava and then dunked back down and, and then oh, dunked back in yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, um yeah. how's she doing is she still uh she's still breathing <laughs> yeah, good question. still a lot water yet yeah. yeah, I mean, she's not, uh, she looks like she's maybe uh, not happy, uh, could, could possibly be convinced <laughs> to surrender, <laughs> as it were. Uh, yeah, she's not looking great. Uh, I guess, I guess Nyx will, will probably say, um, have you had enough? Before she, uh, and she's gonna probably like knock an arrow in her longbow. I think, uh, go ahead and make an intimidation check for me. Thanks. Um... And I <sighs> think for this, you can use uh, dexterity instead of charisma since you're threatening her with your bow. Oh, okay. Uh, that's better. Eight. Uh, that's a 12. <laughs> Uh, she gives you the finger as she comes up um, <laughs> in, a, in a gesture of defiance, how, how uh, flips rude. the bird. I feel like, I feel like there's like, yeah, I feel like there's like a little bit of smoke that just like pushes her hand back down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the back down. <laughs> uh, it is. Uh, All right. I guess smartest. so. Oh, go ahead. Sorry if there's anything else. Uh, I don't know. If she, can are, are Nyx and Sticks sort of tied for their actions, or can Nyx like? 
take so you use order. your bonus action to direct Nyx. And for movement, you both have movement that you can use. So you can both move independently okay. of each other. And then you use your bonus action to direct Nyx. Or Styx. Okay. Your Nyx. Okay. Styx. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I, I guess, yeah. Continue then. Cool. All right. Nice. Uh, in that case, Orsmar, it's your turn. Um, <clears throat> do, yeah. uh, do, do I have a sense of, of how deep this water is? Yeah. Uh, so since you probably can see in it and it's fairly clear, right? Uh, like down to it so you can see the bottom. Um, although it is a pretty, the river itself is pretty fast moving here. Um, however, uh, it is about 10 feet deep the river yep great so um uh orsmar was unsure if we were gonna try to like you know keep this person alive but i think that finger kind of settled it for me i i, I truly just want to just <laughs> leap off the bridge with my long sword and come down with a couple of slashes okay nice go for so, it <laughs> How do I just roll the attack roll? Or do I need to do anything else? So, uh, yeah. So if you're going to leap off the bridge, you'll have advantage on the attack because she's restrained. Um, so yeah, you can make two attacks uh, as she is restrained and you'll, uh, as you leap down here. Okay. Don't be rude, apparently, with this group. Um, <laughs> really get it. Manners. <laughs> um, that is going to be a... Uh, a dirty 20 this time, not a natural 20. That's a hit. <laughs> a brute force 20. Right. And that's four damage with the long sword. Are you adding in your second. strength modifier on the hits? Yes. Yeah, I rolled a one okay, on the right. die plus oh, three. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And then second attack. That's 16 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. And that's seven damage. Nice. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah, I think that's, that's all. I, that's all I do. Okay. And yeah, and you are you as you you attack twice on your way down, and now you are you like are submerged in the water, right? You're this big barbarian. All of this, there's this enormous splash as you make your way in. <laughs> um, and we are now on Lynn. Yeah, so that wizard is, I think I counted it, 70 or 75 feet away from me. And I would yep. like him not to get away. Sure. So, uh, let's see, I'm trying to figure out which of these abilities. Uh huh. Restrained. That sounds good. Um, but <laughs> but that's, no. that's 30 feet. So hang on a minute. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So I kind of got that 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. I am going to use a bonus action and I'm going to manifest minor acceleration. This is a first order power, kind of like a cantrip. So I don't have to roll. Uh, I, 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 gotta, I have to ask for a ruling because it's been a while since I had to decode 5e's grammar. You touch a willing creature. Yes. Am I a willing you creature? You can touch can yourself. I, yes. Can yeah, I touch yeah. my... you, can. Um, you can. Absolutely. <laughs> OD. Absolutely. OD. Quiet. Uh, I cast my. He's <laughs> got blimey on a, on a, um, on his dice bag. That's pretty awesome. So I cause my speed to increase by ten feet until the end of my turn. So that oh, should cool. that should get me in range, unless I've miscalculated. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, and then. Right. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So now this guy is exactly 30 feet away, and I am going to use um, choke. Or I'm going to try to use choke. Well, okay. I guess I'm going to do it. We'll see if I get more strain. Uh, second order telekinesis. Style. Yep, so I've got to, I got to, I got to roll. I roll a d6, and I have to roll uh, higher than a 2. Uh, let's see what happens. I did not roll higher than a 2. Fuck off. Uh, so now i got to take... <laughs> However, the second the second row of strain is all cosmetic stuff, 
So I'm going to take right. a second a second body strain, and Lynn's nose starts to bleed. Uh, Lynn attempts to crush this stupid storm wizard in her telekinetic grip, so she reaches out okay. uh, with one hand. One large or smaller creature of Lynn's choice that she can see within range must make a dexterity saving throw against DC 15. Dexterity. That's a that's a four. It's a oh, four. Oh, sweet. Okay, awesome. On a success, the target takes a one. Luke guy guy <laughs> one d six force damage. Stand by. Uh, Oh, all right. Okay. Uh, six damage. I should have rolled that in the chat. Uh, six force damage. Okay. Wait, hang on. Stand by. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, yes. Uh huh. I. Uh, uh, oh, wait. Oh, hang on. Sorry. On success, they take a d6 force damage. So, but they failed. On a failure, the target. So they didn't take that damage yet. Sorry. That's confusing. I'm confused. Okay. On a failure, they are restrained for the duration. And it's as long as I concentrate up to a minute. And the talent can oh, maintain okay. multiple concentration spells. Um, but this is my first one. That's right. I tried to take a couple of different, I try, I wanted to try out the concentrating on multiple things. So I tried to take a couple of things that use concentration. Um, so instead of just taking a D six, if they succeed, they fail, they are restrained. They get to save at the end of their turn and they take a D six force damage at the start of each of their turns. Right. Right. So, so I reach out, can... I reach out and I grab this person. They're restrained. Right. And at the start of their mm -hmm. turn, they're going to take a D6 damage. And at the end of their turn, they're going to save. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. So they sort of get lifted up into the air, Darth Vader style, right? Um, they're, uh, they're starting to, he's starting to choke. Um, and his arms and limbs are, are flailing around, uh, here. Uh, there's a lot of lot of lot of suffocation going on right now between the drowning <laughs> and uh, the choking. Uh, yeast, nor it is your turn. Right. Okay. So let's move up a bit. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do twenty-five, and then I'm like, I can't let bloody wizard escape, can we? And so I'm going to shoot him with crossbow. Uh, which is 80 feet range. He must be within 80 feet, right? By the 10 feet. Yes, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well within, well within. Quick check. Does a 17 hit? Yes, it a better. 17 does hit. Good. <laughs> uh, just six damage. Just a little one. Just six. Every little bit counts. <laughs> okay. Cool. And what was this that you're using? Oh, I just crossbowed him. I just like, uh, I had, okay. that's about the only thing I would have in range, I think, where I am. So I, I ran up, saw the wizards restrained and in the air, and think, well, bloody hell, gotta get him. He's gonna All go right. off and get his buddies. And I'm done. So that means it is the wizard's turn. And the wizard first takes damage from being choked, right, Lynn? D6? Uh, yeah, D6 damage from... Okay. I've got my... So the wizard takes two damage and then turns uh, as choking is turned towards Lynn and unleashes uh, from his body a bolt of lightning um, that is going to hit Lynn. Now the question oh. is... I would like that not to happen. I gonna vote. <laughs> I was also going to make it uh, not happen, but go ahead, please. Well, yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't think he actually has anything that can make it not happen. So if you do, no. Jen, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I do. Um, I believe. Just give me one moment, please. Sure. Uh, oh, how far away are they? They're more. They might be too far away. They are... They're too far away. Never mind. Scratch that. Yeah. Feet away. Okay. Oh, they're 60? However... They are 60? Okay. It, it, yeah. Uh, yep. it, hang on. Let's see if he, if he succeeds or not. And then... Oh! I will decide. Interesting. Okay. Uh, all right. So... I'm trying to see what the best plan forward is. Okay. Hmm? Yeah, 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 that's the way. Okay, so this bolt of lightning crackles out and it passes through Lynn, Naya, and Styx the Hellhound. All it... need to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, no. 
roll some. Actually, let me roll a d20 here. Now that's more like it. Stick's got a 21. What? As OP. As did Naya. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. I got a four. All right. So oh, no. Lynn takes 28 lightning damage. Uh, what? So, and what is actually, 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 <laughs> uh, uh, I can see uh, as a reaction, I would like, I would like to use silvery barbs, please. Oh. Okay. Silvery uh, barbs. So, uh, all of the uh, spores and and pods around me start moving around in a very distracting way. Um, so distracting, in fact, that our wizard friend uh, may not be able to concentrate on, on what what he's doing. Um, so he needs to re-roll. Uh, oh, th oh, it wasn't a d20 attack, was it? Never mind. No, it was it's, not. It's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Scratch that. Well, how much Sorry. did you just do? You just did 20? How much 28 damage? to you and 14 and, well, to Naya and Styx. Is uh, James? Can I ask before I do anything? Sure. <clears throat> if this is since it, it's a friendly game, would this wizard be immune to being charmed? No. Well, then I mean, you don't. Yeesnor, you don't have any reason to suspect. <laughs> Yeesnor sees this happening, then, and he's going to use his cutting words as a reaction. Um, so it's uh, it's within sixty feet, which I believe I am, and then I would roll yes, my. Whatever Bardic my, inspiration uh, bard is, which one d8, and then so I would take that damage off. So I guess Yeastor sees this happen. He shouts out, "Not so fast, you bloody old wizard! You're not gonna hurt my friends, and you're gonna get a minus... man." I missed Yeastor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I rolled max minus eight off the damage. Oh, okay, great. That's great. And I think. I think I have to. I, I'm I sorry, use gang. a bardic inspiration. Oh, that, don't so be sorry. I use one off. Yeah, that's right. This would be pretty epic if Lynn dies. That's in the first cutting. Encounter. Silvery barbs is going to come up big later, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Oh, I. Yeah. Disappointing. Total. Break I think fun. that only. Does that work on everyone's damage though, James? Or is it just because it was eight and it worked on the wizard? So does everyone take eight less damage? Because it was uh, three people. So got hit, right? when a creature you can see makes a damage roll, so that yes, Which that's everyone's damage. Well, so yes, yeah, so what it would mean eight. is that Matt's is reduced by eight, and uh -huh. that uh, Sticks and I are reduced by four because they took half, right? What did so you that what would mean that the total damage is reduced by <clears throat> is reduced to twenty, which means that they would just take ten instead of fourteen. Gotcha. What did you do, Od? How did you reduce that damage? Uh, I did cutting words. Uh, oh right, a right, reaction. Okay. Uh, so I, I, use a, um, I use a bardic inspiration for one of those for that. Now, Lynn, the real thing is you're concentrating right now. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so, so I got to make a concentration you, you check. You took damage. Yeah, yeah. So it's yep. a DC 10 concentration check. Constitution save is what you need. Uh, right. Well, constitution is my next best stat. <clears throat> plus two. And is it a saving throw? Oh, yeah. It's, it it's is. written down right here. <laughs> All right. I am plus five. Actually, I can roll. I can roll the dice. Here in the thing. Slash roll 1d20 plus 5. Everybody loves listening to people speak what they're typing. <laughs> hey, look at that. I'm not rolling in the chat anymore, just FYI. Uh, but yeah, so I have failed. I have failed. I have failed uh, to maintain my constitution. Oh, no. Now that now, I can't cheat, key. all my die rolls suck. Sorry. <laughs> now, key, key to understanding this, Matt, of course, is that you can take on strain to try to, yes. to continue to maintain concentration if you want. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, I want to maintain an even strain. Um, this dude's still kind of far away. None of us have gotten in a melee with him yet. Mm -hmm. So I will take another strain. Just FYI, I screwed up my strain previously. I should have more strain. Okay. But I don't know how oh, much gotcha. more strain. So I'm going to pretend like I didn't screw it up. And I'm going to give myself one no. more mind strain. Because the rule is, um, like when I needed to roll a, higher than a three on the D6 to manifest a third order power, um, if I roll exactly a three, I take one strain. If I roll less than a three, I take strain equal to the order of the power. And right. I think I rolled a one. So I think I should have two more strain. I'm just going to give myself two more strain. Um, so, so Matt, how, how do you remove strain? 
Rest. <laughs> rest. Oh, or you're rest? spending hit dice, yeah. Yep. You can you spend so hit you dice can when you spend rest. spend hit dice when you rest to recover strain instead, yeah. And there are other, um, I think there's, I think there's a section in the, uh, in the talent PDF about what other things in D and D can remove strain, but off the yeah. top of my head, I don't know it. Uh, James might know. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, James. So, so in order to maintain concentration, if you want to, it's strain yeah. equal to the sum of the order of the powers that you are concentrating. Right. right. Well, so choke is a second order the... power. So, so and it that's would be two one. strain. So it'd be yeah. two strain. Yeah. I am not going to do that. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting into the, I'm getting into the red zone here. Um, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, I just, I rolled really badly on my manifestation checks. Is the thing. Yeah. Um. So, good news is that Flash Maggie who is our bandit who has been restrained, didn't even get to introduce herself, um, has <laughs> broken out finally of her restraints um, and is now in the water. Uh, uh, oh, she moved while she was close by? Then, then and uh, I didn't use that reaction. Mm -hmm. that, that she's going to take some damage you then. You did not. Because the That's pods true. are right there. In uh, fact, so I get to do double damage. Yeah, Styx, Naya, and... Uh, Orsmar can all take opportunity attacks as she tries to get out. So go ahead. She also is going to take damage uh, as a reaction for from my Halo of Spores. So she'll oh. take double on this. So there's two of those um, because a symbiotic <laughs> entity. And then it's FYI, we have not rolled above a two. In this, in the, in the last four rolls, as I suspect, oh, D twenty is in uh, in roll twenty. Roll twenty, <clears throat> yeah. Rolled an eleven on my opportunity attack. Okay, you get a. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I guess you would not get advantage anymore because she's not restrained. Uh, okay, hmm. an eleven is a miss. Okay, sticks also so, misses. I, I hit with a 25, I'm assuming. I hit. Um, yep. And then I also, because I have... Uh, did it, where did it go? Symbiotic Entity up. So I get that damage plus... Okay. Eight points. Okay, nice. All right. And she is going to try to swim for the shore... She only makes it to there, so she's not quite there. Um, and she looks a mess. Uh, all right. And our wizard is no longer restrained. So actually, the wizard on is also going to move on his turn. Again. Uh, all right. We're back to the top, which means we're back to Nyx. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. No, we're not. We're, we're at the bottom, so Naya, we just... My fault. It's your turn, Naya. Um, and how far away is she now as she's playing? Uh, so she's only looks like 15 feet away from you right now. Yeah, and she's cool. on the shore, um, right? She's getting towards the shallow end. Uh, Naya flings her arm forward and a vine uh, covered in thorns and pods reaches out and at the very end a really nasty looking like alien jaw style grabs on pulls her back with a thorn whip um oh, my God. oh or not <laughs> or not at all not at all oh i see i see gotcha not at all <laughs> um <laughs> with a one uh anything else i can do instead um Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Uh, do I want to move somewhere? Um, let's let's move a little closer to uh, here. Okay. Cool. Yeah, uh, the wizard is no longer choked it. or no longer restrained, so yeah, he'll be able to get away. 
Or you can, whoa, Maybe. what's that? What's that? It's a box full of bad guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> sorry, I, I, you I, saw nothing. I have this, sorry, I have the stream. I shouldn't. I should have the stream open. Oh, Pinky kid at that business. bit. Okay. <laughs> roll, roll, roll 20. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, go ahead and let's look at. Uh, so, Naya, if that's the end of your turn, it is Horse Mars. Yeah, that is. That's all I got. Okay. Uh. Orsmar is going to continue to pursue her. Yes. And take two longsword attacks. Watch. Nice. Are you just a single single longsword? Are you longsword and shield? Longsword and shield, yeah. Fair enough. That's tw uh, 12 to hit on the first one. Yep, uh, that will miss. Misses. That's a natural one. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> the warm the karma is now evening out. Oh, oh wait, 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 stand by, stand by. Oh shit! How far? Ooh, wait. How far away from you are I? Five, ten, fifteen. Did you just miss on an attack roll? Yes. I did. I am going. Okay, so um, I'm going to narrate this a little bit. You folks, yep, yep. see. Oh, you folks, see Orzmar do his thing and miss and Lynn turns around and gestures at him and you see time rewinds and he gets to do that again Ooh, you nice. momentarily rewind time allowing the oh shit I gotta manifest this fuck it's second order all right <laughs> oh come on <laughs> come on don't, don't want to use my brain okay I rolled a six <clears throat> see I didn't roll in the chat uh yes yeah, so I momentarily rewind time allowing Orzmar to make the triggering attack a second time you can re-roll the attack but you must use the new roll why wouldn't you do that yeah yeah okay that's great let's see that's much better it's 24 to hit okay nice oh that's right oh no i, I made i made my check uh that'll hit uh, and that's gonna be five damage and oh, wow. um i see that she's fleeing and I have the slasher feet, which among other things, I can reduce her speed by 10 feet oh, until no. the start of my next turn. So I will do oh, that. Okay. <laughs> I assume the river is difficult terrain, so that's going to be Yeah, gonna it's, be you know, when you're useful. swimming, right, it's, yeah. it's definitely difficult terrain. Um, okay, so you, ah, you get her in the leg uh, and she's swimming a little slower, trying to make her way towards the shore. Having a rough, rough go of it here, uh, which means Lynn, it is your turn. Yeah, I have six out of nine strain. Uh, what? Where'd that? Oh, God damn it! Am I gonna try to choke Ooh. this dude again? Um, yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, hmm. Wow. Uh -huh. That's another concentration spell. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to try to choke this guy again. Okay. Yep. Let's try to fire up the concentrator. He's going to zap me. With, this is going to be my brain versus his lightning bolts, and we'll see who survives. <laughs> um, this is a second order power. Same thing I did before, so I'm trying to roll higher than a two. You got to get in range the best first, case right? Scenario. I got a four. Uh, correct. I got to get within 30 feet. So it's only 60, so. Hang on a second. Let me change to the move thing 5 10 15 20 25 30 here i can move here just so i'm in the square there we go i could give myself 10 more movement uh for free but i don't think i need it so yeah so i manifest i rolled a four um which means that he's restrained as long as i concentrate he gets to save at the end of his turn at the beginning of his turn he takes a d6 damage done next And I failed to save. Okay. Uh, great. Ah, he's back up in the air. Uh, okay. Ye snore. Hello, oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, I want to keep after this. Uh oh, there's the dog. <laughs> sticks. What's up, Frankie? Shh. Yeah, right, Sticks is after me. Poor Frankie. Uh, <laughs> Did I skip 15, next? 20, 25. 
Hey, Hold James, I screwed up. Um, you, should, you should add the AOO damage back in from my last one. Uh, oh, great. Okay. I took two reactions. Oh, okay. Got it, got it. My bad. Is a... Uh, so on your last go, sorry, Colville, did you restrain him again? Fun. Is he, yeah, he's, 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 held in my, he's held in my telekinetic grip. Oh, okay. In that case, I'm probably just going to crossfire him again at that distance. Uh, it'd be nice sure. if... You've got advantage. It'd be nice if there was someone between me and him. So that... Yeah, I can't... <laughs> when he, I, when I, he turns I, around to lightning bolt somebody, it's not just, hi, it's me. It's hey, you, you, you started this right combat at the front of the pack. I did. That's, yeah, true. That's correct. You're right. You're not still, wrong. He still has got little legs. He only goes 25. So I can't <laughs> get much. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, you say I get advantage, do you? Uh, yeah. Uh, 23. I assume 23. that hits. That'll hit. It's going to be a whopping... Oh my word! A whopping three of damage! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I, get, I, I pull out all the crossbows and then the one I pull out is like only this long. Like a little uh, right. toothpick. <laughs> I didn't get out the proper one. Cat, I apologize. I skipped Nyx, so why don't you go now? Totally okay. All right, so Nyx first is going to move up. Okay. There. Yes. Uh, Moving up to the bridge. And, yeah. And then I just... Uh, so she's got her longbow out. Does she reach the wizard from with the longbow? It's 150, right? Oh, almost certainly, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think first I'm going to get uh, Styx to jump into the water, though. Uh, so nice. Styx is head heading into the river. Uh, big splash. So you sort of see, like, this big splash, but also, like, smoldering smoke come up because <laughs> this is like a hellhound. Um, so, uh, and I, th yeah, and I think uh, as soon as, um, as soon as Styx is in the water, uh, sort of takes a, that signature attack, uh, uh, lava split spittle coming out of all this uh, of all this mist. Um, let's see. That is a fourteen. That's it. That... that hits. Okay. I also needed to roll for uh, ferocity. Oh no, Flash Maggie. All Do we know um, how, much, <laughs> how much ferocity can um, Styx maintain before Styx starts to rampage? Uh, so 10. 10? Okay. Uh, okay. If, if Styx has 10 at the start of a turn, then uh, then they could rampage. Uh, Nyx gets to make an animal handling check to try to keep Styx under control. Yeah. Rampage right. is bad because rampage means okay. Styx could bite you or us. Oh no! Sure. Okay, yeah, we don't want that. Um, all right. When I roll the ferocity, what was it again? It was one d four plus one d four plus one, uh, plus the number one. of okay, so... enemies. Yeah. Okay. So we're just up to a seven then. Um, yeah. So what is going to happen here is uh, uh, sticks is going to do that signature attack. So that was a uh, fourteen to hit, and then got. 2d6, um, 11, uh, oh, nice. is that 14? Nice. Well, in that yeah, case, 14, uh, how does Styx want oh, to go ahead. end this? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, good. Thank God. I think, I feel like, I feel like because we're in the water and there's this, lava coming out of sticks it's just like the lava comes out covers um maggie and it just turns into like um like she just turns into ash sweet in the water and then just crumbles nice. away into the water um all right and then i think with that yeah and then i think with that maybe uh uh nix is just going to you know plink her arrow and see if it hits the wizard sure go for it <laughs> Give your self advantage. Um, ten and oh, that's much better. Twenty two. Okay, that it's. Um, 
and that's 1d8. Where's my 8? Oh, nice. Uh, 12 piercing damage as the arrow flies through the air over, over Lin's head, I think. Just arches right over. Um, okay. Anything else you'd like to do? I think that's it. Cool. Uh, uh, the uh, wizard takes another d6 of damage at the start of the turn from the yeah. choke. Yeah. Um, and as they are in your telekinetic grip, Lin, uh, or as he's in your telekinetic grip, he sort of goes limp and starts um, making weak a uh, weak gesture that he's not trying to do anything else anymore. That he's doing, all right. I'll, I'll give up if I if I can. I'll drop him from my telekinetic grasp. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and he when you do, he falls to his knees and is just there, breath heaving but isn't trying to run anywhere. It doesn't look like he's casting any spells or anything like that. It's just defeated. Good team. Yeah. Um, it's a lot. We're out of combat. Uh, well, You're out of combat. Yeah, we I mean, if, you would, if, if you, he's watching. out of combat, what would you like to be? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. That's a great question. That's a great way to put it. Yeah. He thinks the combat's over. What do you think? Yeah. Before we laser this guy again, uh, maybe we should like, see, see what's going on. Hey, I only right. lasered the lady. I didn't laser. I know. This guy. I know you can't help a good lasering. So I, I mean, I, I think Orzmar would would just start running, charging as if to continue the combat, but maybe would see that he's been, you know, released and. <laughs> Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe need to hold off a little bit. Well, but I, I definitely not, would charge. Lynn's not walking up to this guy. Lynn lets okay. him go. Because, I mean, Lynn, Lynn is mute. So yeah. if, people want, if people want to talk to her. But she sort of has like a kind of like, okay. fuck this okay. guy, look on her face. But she can see <laughs> that the team might want to talk to her. Hey. It's up to you all what you want to do. If you want to run forth talk to him. or smart and... Oh, wait. He yeah. still went over. So okay. You could ask okay. him about Are the box sure of bad guys not... that's off the map. Yeah, right. <laughs> James <Hey. Shane. laughs> So are we, well, are we sure he's not going to try and run away? Well, I'm not sure of that, but I could for, I could brain him again. <laughs> okay. I'll get close and say I'll make sure. <sighs> yeah, he's we're, look away. at this. Where's he going to go? He's got. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then, you silly old sod. Tell us what's going on here. What's all this business just... about tolls and stuff? We see what you've done to your mates. Have we got any more people we need to worry about? It was such a good racket. We had such a good thing going. Uh, the folks around these parts, they have no spine and plenty of coin. Mm. I'm sure you've got plenty uh... of coin we could have as well. If you've been collecting all this time, people crossing bridge. You rascal. <laughs> uh, and he says, I don't have any on me. I don't have any on me. It all goes to the Baron. He keeps it, pays us when he needs to. We live a good life here in the mill. Tell you what, I'll forget that you killed my boys in Flash Maggie. I'll let you go for free. <laughs> for Bygones free? You guys, when, whenever you pass, uh, you can, for life, whenever you use the bridge. Wait, you. I think we've got up a hand here. <laughs> For free, <laughs> get out of it. Well, I that can't. That does seem to be pretty decision. strange uh, as a as a plan here, uh, my friend. Ooh, I mean, it's it's not it's not really my decision to hand over money for my life. That decision is in the Baron's hands, and I have to tell you, he is not going to pay. <laughs> Where, so, where's, Bar where's this Baron then? Is the he Baron's the, the one in charge. Uh, yeah, he nods back to the mill, and he says, "Over there." But who this else thing, is, is in this? There? This giant black, this giant black cube behind us. <laughs> yeah, that giant this, black uh, cube behind yeah. you is a. Uh, so it is a mill. It uh, looks like it's three stories, it. um, powered by a river. You can see that there's a big crane huh. arm sticking out huh. of the third story, um, cool. on the uh, eastern side. Um, there's this big crane arm that uh, like goes down into a crane yard, and also there's a little 
uh, like man-made river that runs back around the south of the mill. Um, it is, however, there's like a pool um, off to the east and then all of the water after that is dried. There's a gate, like a sluice, right? That is keeping the water stored there right now so that the mill is not actually working, right? It, there's a water wheel, presumably on the mm. south side that needs to turn. Okay. Do, do we see if there's been like any spectators up there watching what's occurred down here? Doesn't yeah, what is look the, like yeah, what is, there's yeah. no one on no one on the roof and there are no windows on the sides of the mill that you can see no windows and um, no doors uh, I, don't, I don't know if you heard James but Yeastnor asked him like who's in there how many people are in there oh uh, well let's see there's uh, Brother John and Barrel House Jill Pat Nothrak of course uh, uh, Maggie the Cruel uh, uh, oh, probably about a Oh, I didn't 15 take, uh, or so. 15? Well, no, more like 20. I'm having a vague flashback oh. to a certain hobgoblin tower, Mr. Driscoll. Yeah, right. Well, I've, well I've, we ran away. I mean, eventually. <laughs> eventually. <laughs> after many, after many <laughs> actual deaths. It uh, took us a while to realize we couldn't win. Uh... <laughs> Are these are these are, are they are they all as tough as you, wizard? Much tougher. Oh. Does does it well, seem like uh, this wizard actually telling the truth about the the numbers, or if he or if he's like uh, making up? Oh sure. Uh, yeah, you here? can make an insight check to see what you know. I also just am curious. Yeah while you're looking to find that out is uh tell us about the building are there things that are trapped in there are there yeah tell give us a little bit of the overlay of the place and um if there are passages or tunnels or or ways to get between places that might not be so obvious as well where people are stationed you know that information mm -hmm. you're planning Nick's on got a 22. Okay. I mean, it's right. Not necessarily. It's just like, good to know. Yeah. yeah. Lynn, Seems like Lynn he's will, being honest with you right now. In, in yeah. ahem, uh, excuse me. In response um, to what Naya just said, Lynn is going to walk up to like basically where like East Nor is standing, and she's going to draw on the ground in the dirt. She's going to draw what the outside of this thing looks like. Right mm -hmm. in the dirt with like her finger or a stick if she has to, and then she's going to point to the wizard and point down to the ground, um, and then throw the stick at the wizard. Mm -hmm. He says uh, he he like picks up the stick and and looks at the mill and looks at the drawing. And he says, "If I share this with you, you'll let me go. You're going to storm that place, and I and I'll just go. Does that sound good? Don't go somewhere." <laughs> He'll go somewhere. He'll go somewhere. He'll go straight to hell. As, no. in, uh, as yeah. in, as in a way, and we won't. Well, I'll never bother you again. You, you. Correct. I'll give you all everything you want to know. That's that's the deal, right? Um. No part of that has been incorrect. Yeah, Lynn's just, <laughs> just going to look at the rest of the group and do and agree with whatever they say. Do you want to make Naya a? I think deception check, but you tell me. Persuasion. I mean, no, I mean, no piece of that so far has been incorrect. He will be, he will be let go in a way. Uh, <laughs> okay. It's quite yeah. literal. Uh, it's quite literal. Yeah. All of the things he said. There's a case I'll to be made it. that each of those are accurate. <laughs> so he, he like looks and he sort of like, Excuse me. Sort of moving by Osmar and, and Yisnor very cautiously, trying not to touch the the, the scary barbarian and uh, dwarf, and and making his way as uh, he says. And he says, "Okay, well, here on the south side, there is a a, a water wheel, uh, and there's a, a little window that leads up to the 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 second floor. It's the only window in the place. It's on the south side. It's just above that water wheel." Um, 
there's a, 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 a door on the south side, too. Uh, it's the only entrance other than that window. And, of course, the, the crane. Um, he points to the crane and he says, that whole, uh, that whole wall is open on that side of the third floor if you were to uh, uh, climb up. Although there's usually someone keeping guard uh, watching the crane yard. Um, and, uh, oh, well, I, I wouldn't go over to the lake if I were you. And he points towards the, the little pool. Um, there's a, some kind of strange creature in there. Uh, does not like us at all. Uh, and uh, seems to feast upon human there a flesh. Is there a watcher in the water? Is this the gates of Moria? <laughs> I have That's to actually... take a phone call. One second. Oh, go ahead. That's actually quite interesting. So if there's a creature in that pool, this is the pool we can see on the map, right? And if we can open the gate, that river goes into the mill. So can we, if the creature is small enough, I don't know if it is, get through the river and like basically cause havoc in the mill before we even get in there? I say that as you snore to the guys. <laughs> Would the creature do that? I'm trying to find out. Sorry, I just. Oh, you're asking him. Uh, yes. Yeah, so. Well. Uh, yes, that is a brilliant idea. You should open the sluice gate and and let the creature out. That would that would cause a major distraction. It's a wonderful thought. Uh. Nick. I'm kind of down. I'm kind of down with this for an idea. I don't know how anyone else feels. But I like Nick, like... with <laughs> there's something he's not telling you. With your good uh -huh. insight check, you know, Nick, that he's telling the the truth that that uh... might cause a a big distraction. But there's something else he's not telling you about. That. I think I think at that point, then, uh, like, Nick nods over at Sticks and Sticks. Um, sort of prowls over to the wizard and sticks its snout against its, his back, like just nudges it like a dog does. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and Nick says, I feel like you're not letting us on on everything here. Yes, uh, of course, if you were to do that, it would spin the water wheel of the mill, which would, of course, uh, is one way that we raise the alarm around these parts. So you may not want to do that. Mm. Uh, uh, mm. Although I have seen the creature walking around the pond at night, so it can leave the water. Oh, but be what did we learn about this thing? Um... We had, well, um, we had an idea we, that we could maybe release it and it go into the mill, uh, but kind of fan out. Control the mill. It would, it would like, the, it would make the wheel go round, which would actually set off an alarm. So it's probably oh. not gonna help us as much as I'd hoped. Right. So there's no way to. Um, there's no. What, do we know what kind of thing this thing is? I wasn't here. I apologize. What kind of what kind of beastie we're talking about? We don't it's yet. Just, uh, we just know that it walks form. around out. Yeah. Well, we've got a um, we've got a beast. Amphibious. Well, maybe not humanoid. Yeah. I wonder if we could tame this thing and have like a little buddy that helps us out. <laughs> oh, it's a. Uh... Uh, by the way, I have not read. I have not read uh, this section of the book, so I don't. I have. I have no. <laughs> I have no insight as to what's going on here. <laughs> but I know that when we fought. Uh, when we fought <laughs> Sithrion Aronazir, James's level twenty beast heart was able to talk to Gazamok, and so if he, so I don't know what a beast, <laughs> I don't know what a beast heart can do, but it, it maybe maybe there's some kind of animal handling thing. Yeah, well, animal uh, handling. Like yeah, that's right. That's right. That's uh, right. I think we have I think we have, we have the we have the zoo crew. That's right. That's yeah. right. <laughs> well. Um, I don't mean That's to interrupt true. the proceedings, but Lynn, Lynn would very much like to take a short rest. <laughs> you see, Lynn, like, <laughs> she, she, Lynn is gonna, Lynn is gonna like collapse okay. against one of these trees, uh, yeah. because she's got seven out of nine strain. Um, oh my we gosh. can keep going, we can keep going, but she would like to spend a couple of her hit dice. I just don't know if this is short rest, if this is a short rest scene, James. I think as we're, well, it's up to you. If you all want to right? take an hour and an hour, yes. fuck, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Why can't it be ten minutes? Why can't it be ten minutes? Um, I think we got try to get Anybody a bit more info out of this guy first. Because I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, never all, uh, forget the rest thing. <laughs> when did he say when, that the, the, the bear was... was inside of the mill? Uh, yes, he, has, he did. Uh, yeah. uh, oh, okay. Okay. When we were talking to the wizard, off, like... and the wizard was mentioning uh, the the creature being able to walk around the land. Uh, I think Nix wants to inquire more about like what you mean. Is it is it on all fours? Is it uh, amphibious? Is it humanoid? Uh, four legs. Does it have six legs? Does it have wings? <laughs> Does it have big I've only bang? seen it from afar, and it only comes out at night. But in it's the a dark, it looks looks like might have been at one time a person and now it stalks the earth well we lost a few people oh. to it when we first got here eating it's their flesh oh, it's like a well, ghoul like a, uh, 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 a thingy up. um the water ghoul thing the name of which i can't remember mm. i don't even know if we have one of those in our book sorry i'll shut up it's uh... a <laughs> some sort of undead uh, creature. And... No, it sounds undead. Yeah, he says, uh, could be undead. Could be. There's a magic about it, too, I'll tell you what. I have been sensing magic since I got here. Something a magic hag? about that thing, and something a magic about people. the mill grinding stone. Hmm. I haven't managed to figure <laughs> out what yet. Did he give us a map of the place? Uh, so he drew, uh, he drew like where the, he drew the outside stuff, the right, water okay. wheel, the crane. Um, he says there's, there's three stories. Uh, first story is a bit of a common room, uh, where, uh, patrols come in and out of sometimes and uh, often where the, the gambling happens. Uh, uh, second floor storage of goods and supplies. Third store, that's where the elite hang out. Baron Uthrak and his closest advisors all up there on the third floor cool. um lynn lynn as he's describing lynn holds up three fingers like ground floor second floor third floor and then lynn looks at the wizard and goes mm. attic no like, like basement. basement like is there something oh. below Cellar. like is there anything yeah. below i can't talk is there anything below the first right. level is there a is there a dungeon no nothing below but sometimes we go up on the roof. Okay. Said there was a way. There is like Whoa. it looked like it was the, where the crane is. We could get up to the third floor, right? That's what it said. Mm -hmm. We could see that. Yeah, he said that the basically the east wall of the third floor is open to let the crane right. out and so that oh, the crane yeah. can okay. load and unload cargo. Um, so yeah, there's a whole wall missing. But there's <laughs> often a watch on, yeah. on the third floor, yes. right? Keeping an eye. Yes. Mm. Do we know which floor Baron Uthrak tends to be on? Third. He just said the third floor. Third. third yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. But there's okay. It um, sounds like all the baddies are on the third, like the bad baddies, and then like him well, and his mates are all hanging out on there. Well, through so a complicated series of the people in charge of the operation. Yeah. The mm -hmm. people on the third floor. Um, mm -hmm. uh, through a complicated series of gestures and facial expressions, Lynn is going to communicate the notion <laughs> that maybe we should go in through the top and attack Baron Uthrak first, uh, because that way we don't have to wade through all of his uh, his um, minions, and yeah. we will. And we're not going to get. We're not going to. I don't want to wait an hour, so we're not going to be any stronger than we are now. So let's let's, <laughs> let's see if we can't let's see if we can't cut well... off the head of the Hydra. Yeah. We could, if once we've agreed a plan, and then what, yeah. whatever, whatever we decide to do with this wizard, whether we make sure we see him walk off across the bridge and into the distance, or whatever other thing we want to do with him, there's this sort of big sort of tree area here, wooded area, we could maybe yeah. sort of hide out in I there just, and have a little hour, hour's rest. Well, it's up to you guys, because um, my like, assumption I, I mean, is that they can like see us right now. Because we're only like twenty feet away from their stronghold. Right, but the, we, we right, might be so, able to hide in this tree area there, right? And so they can't covering. see us from the mill. And so, and then because if we look at Lynn, Lynn's nose is bleeding, right? Yeah, actually, yeah, bro, bro, yeah she's fucked <laughs> right. up. By the way, Cause, she's, cause, she's, yeah, like she's like swaying. She's like swaying. She gives she you a thumbs up. So she's well. ready to keep going. No, no, no. Don't worry about me. I'm okay. Well, I'm bloody hell! Right. I've seen I've seen you like this before. You need rest. Come on. What we're we gonna? Are we finished with wizard? 
I think we got everything we we're gonna get out of him. Yeah, so, I think so too. Uh, um, so now, oh, we did, now did he I tell can us go. about any traps? Wait, did did we traps hear about any true. traps or um, passageways or hidden uh, rooms kind of stuff? Terms of things that uh, might not be traps. on the standard map. Well, uh, you know, everybody's got their own little treasure stashed away. Uh, Oh, uh, Uthrak, be careful of his sword. Uh, drinks his blood, but it makes him stronger. Um, uh, He's got fucking Stormbringer? Uh... Man, fuck yeah. off with this shit. <laughs> no, it's it's nine lives. It's called nine lives. It's oh, that's right. I remember this thing. Yeah. Yep. Not to be confused with a nine lives stealer. That's a totally no. different sword that yeah. does a different thing. Yeah. <laughs> <Is> it... <laughs> Different, different sword that Lars got mad at me yesterday for saying the same as a nine lives did. Uh, so this is a, this is a, it, uh, it allows him to get out of sticky situations. Um, uh, he's also got, uh, uh, well, we tend to use the crane when we can as a piece of equipment. And uh, those who would dare, I mean, the, the plan is, Nobody's ever gone up to the third floor. No intruder would ever dare. But if they would, the plan would be to push them out that giant wall, hole in the side of the wall, down into the crane yard below, and you know, murder them. Oh, that's that's hey, that the, sounds smart. The idea. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but uh, uh, the other way, the other traps are, uh, of course, all of the mill equipment. Uh, if we can get the wheel turning, um, turns, and uh, we like to. Uh, push people into the gears the wheels uh, as it were but there's no actual uh, formal traps or anything like that it's mostly just a bridge toll he like motions to the bridge most people just pay that would be much easier pay look what your poor friend has been through he motions to Lynn anyway remember our deal I we get to go our separate ways now that I've I told mean you everything the information was good. I, I, if we let you go. Yes. If we let you go. When you let me go, yes. <laughs> <laughs> there are conditions. Oh, okay. Yes, anything. What, what are the conditions? You can't come back here again. Nope. Don't want to. You, listen. Not ever. Everyone I know now wants me dead. Uthrak would kill me for what I've just told you. And frankly, a jury's still out on whether you're going to let me live or not. So I, I'm never coming back here ever again. Okay. It works for me. How about you? All of you? I'm well, satisfied. Let him go. All right. Make sure we save we'll call. I, I do hope, like, hold out my sword just to discourage him from walking, like, not away. <laughs> Yeah, he's got to go back across the bridge, right? Not to the mill. Yeah, yeah. That's Correct. He, like, he like starts to step towards the south, and then when you put out the sword, uh, he's like, right, 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 and uh, and he turns around and he starts to head up north. I'll just go past the corpses of my boys. That's fine. Uh, all right, uh, and he starts walking. Tips his hat to Lynn. Walks by. <laughs> And I think we'll stop there and take a quick break. I don't, shall we? Shall we say that because we're actually having a real break? Shall we say that this wooded area is actually a spot where we can kind of hide out of sight of the mill and have a little hour's rest? It looks like it would be. It looks fairly thick trees. Mm -hmm. Up to you. I'm, I'm okay with that if that's what you. Go then yeah, if you're good with it, then come on, yeah, then. Let's, let's, get, let's, right. let's get let's let's get you rested up. We haven't noticed any activity from the mill, right? There's not no, like a bunch no, of like helmeted no. heads peeking over the top watching us or anything. No, no. It seems so like far, we're on the wrong no side. From the mill. Oh, okay. Oh, if you think yeah. it's oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, All right. Yeah. There's no well, windows or anything on the side that you're on. So. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. Then I, then, hiding yeah. and I'm short resting. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna burn some hit dice and re I actually don't have enough hit dice to recover all my strength. Uh, I'm gonna burn some hit dice. And recover some strength. Sounds good. I just don't know. All right, if I'm everybody. Five so, enough. how long a break are we taking? We'll, Ten minutes? Fifteen minutes? We'll five minutes? Take a quick ten, and then we'll be 10? back. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Cool. cool. Thank you, everyone. Cool. All right. See you next we will take. be back in ten minutes.
Hello, welcome back. So, when last we left our heroes, they were taking a break in the woods, having a little bit of a, a, a short rest here to gain back some resources, plug up their bloody noses, and I assume discuss about what they want to do next. What you have learned is that the mill in front of you houses Baron Uthrak, uh, a, uh, a Baron who lost his title, um, who is uh, looking to uh, get it back through robbery, basically. Um, build, build back that wealth. Um, and uh, they, uh, there is some sort of monster in the pond that is off to the east of you. Um, the And the mill has three different entrances, a, a first floor door, a second floor window that is just above the water wheel, and then the third floor, the whole eastern wall has been knocked out to allow a crane to lift up cargo. Um, so it is up to you what all you want to do next. I used two of my um, hit dice to get hit points back, and I used the other three to remove strain. Awesome. Are you are you uh, back to full full elf? Full elf? No, I have. Yeah, um, full elf. Standby. Yeah. I have I have some number of elves left. Stand by. <laughs> um, I have uh, three elf. Currently, I have three. I have three. Oh, nice. Damage. I have three damage. Oh, okay, so you're not <laughs> Sorry. too hurt. Yeah. So what's our idea? I'm I'm about two minutes from just storming the front door of this place. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> can we not... Um, is there a way to get into the top of this place? Can we climb the walls? Is that even a, a thing we want to do? Do we have the, the party to start climbing walls and stuff? You could definitely uh, try. There was the crane. I'm on pretty the east good at climbing, side. personally. But the crane would leave us pretty exposed because the whole wall was open if we're going to climb the crane. And likelihood is that they would, someone would probably spot us doing that with the information from the wizard. There was a window into the second floor. I can't remember if he said there was actually any baddies on the second floor. And then on the first floor, we, I think he said they were like, I'm going to call them minions just because that's what I hope they are. Um, so... I think he said tr trolls on the first floor or something like that. Uh, second floor was storage, and third floor is is the elites. Okay, so I I, wa I wonder, I wonder if we can get. Is there? Does it look like we could climb up into the second floor? Because then we'd kind of give us. We might be able to sort of scout about and see what's above or. Below Do you want to cut? So the windows on the south side of the tower, which you have not gone to, or the south side of the mill, Ooh, which you haven't gone to. Okay, look at, which, fair enough. Which you could, if you want to also where the door is um there's also the pond oh yeah because i guess well but the river goes into the mill entrance right so um so the the side yeah. that has everything taken out the water right. missing. yeah yeah but it's not like a yeah, the... secret secret way in it's just basically yeah the, the mill basically the the waterway from the pond comes around right and then goes into the front of the mill spins the water wheel uh so the pond isn't uh within view of the south side of the mill then no it's not it's not so i think nix is going to suggest at least to naya that we go scout over at the pond because i think we're the most skilled at absolutely oh, we can also talk to the, the animals and the plants <laughs> See what see what they're thinking about over there. If they've got <laughs> any information they could give us. Excellent. That's certainly right. a plan. Um, my my other uh, my other suggestion is I've got a I've got a little um, I've got a little shadow that can um, move into the the building if we want to scout ahead. Well, in fact, I wonder if it would be helpful to have some trees taking a look they could see what's up in the in the building when we get closer all right hmm. i'm i'm wondering if there's a good place i don't know how to 
how to do this subtly, to, to be completely honest. There's not really a, a quiet way to make this happen. Mm-hmm. Um, but I have an item with me. Um, I have this, this lovely little bag that's this, this kind of rough homespun bag. Um, that has some seeds in it, even though it looks empty. Um, okay. Is there a way that I could... Oh. Is there a good spot for me to uh, to do that now? Perhaps? Sure. Before we uh, get I think anywhere we could and see if that can give us intel? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I have... So I have an item that I created for Arcadia uh, called a Shadow Puppet. Um, it is oh. a shadow puppet that can turn into a shadow. Um, so I think together we could. <laughs> we can maybe unleash some Arcadia, Arcadia item <laughs> magic chaos. Yes. Okay. So, okay. So I am going to um, pull out one of the seeds uh, okay. from Great. my my bag of saplings great and, All right. uh, and uh, I will I'd... create an unawakened tree okay cool well <laughs> and that Nick means is going to pull cool. out a little a little, a Look little at that. imp there's a shadow figure okay nice. we got like a little army <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing so you're going to create a I, shadow actually then. so in fact hmm. It was yeah. getting... I wonder if it's worth doing more than one. How That's... many trees can you make? How many <laughs> shadows can you make? <laughs> little, Just the one shadow. Little, little, little tree <laughs> army. Little tree army, yeah. Yeah. We gotta make sure uh, yeah, Sticks doesn't get any ideas. Um, <clears throat> but but what, what I'm thinking with this is, first of all, it gives us a way up to the third floor without having to use the water wheel or without having to use the crane. Oh. Um, but it also could spy Climb on the, the third tree. floor for us. Climb the... Because <laughs> we can talk the to the idea it. that the bandits are all like, hey, has that... Has that tree always right. been here? It's not always been here. <laughs> it's, there's not just like I mean, trees tree. don't just like yeah. walk over. Yeah. Yeah, they don't not, just show yeah, up. Sure. They're, they're all looking at each other like, I'm not going to be the first one to bring it up. I don't want to look stupid. <laughs> I'm sure that tree has always been there. <laughs> <laughs> so let's so, uh yeah maybe we okay let's start so with the one. plan I can get is more so the the plan is what <laughs> help me out here we now, have uh, a tree what are you doing? and a shadow like... that are gonna scout ahead the tree and the shadow okay, will scout ahead it. i think naya so and nix are gonna probably gonna go to the pond if, yeah. a, if a dozen fireballs come out of the middle everybody and else smash into this do. tree, we're turning around and going the other way. Oh, okay. I'd, I'd imagine yeast noodles <laughs> making beer at the moment in the forest. <laughs> What's this happening? <laughs> so the the tree and the shadow are going to, like, what, try to creep around here to see what's going on in the it's, third floor? I would... Is that the point? Yeah, I would like the shadow to actually go in through the front, through the front door and just sort of, like go into a crack or okay. whatever and just get into the building. How much do you know okay. about what the shadow... Can you, like, see what the shadow... Do you know what the shadow knows? It's just a pet. Just a pet. Shadow Got needs it. to come back, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So what I would like, then, we'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> play these things out. Can I get a stealth... Dexterity stealth roll for the shadow? I think makes sense. And... I guess also for the tree? <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> yeah, I think that's how that's going to work. I think the tree... I- I'll let you decide. It can either be a dexterity stealth check for the tree or a charisma stealth check for the tree. Charisma? tree tries to <laughs> act casual. <laughs> sure, Chad let is like, what is he doing see. right now? <laughs> Um, let me see. Um, yeah. I mean, the tree, the awakened tree has, um, 
uh, has a stat block. False, yeah. false appearance, right? Yeah. Um, so I'm I'll give you advantage. To... I'll give the tree advantage on um, this. Yeah. Great. It's minus uh, so two. The shadow, the shadow got. The sh shadow got a twenty. Um, okay. The shadow, I, cool. I just need to mention that. Uh, we're gonna have to keep it out of sunlight because it has disadvantage on any of its checks. Um, so I'm gonna try to, you know, make sure it's in the in the shade, um, and it can take a hide action as a bonus action when it's in dim light or darkness. Okay, cool. So I will. We'll get to that in a second. So the shadow goes off. The tree also so goes off. I have a, a thirteen. Um on the the charisma check okay all right so the trees the tree and the shadow go off we'll see what the what result what those results have wrought in a moment um <laughs> i love it i love this tree is like three stories high just walking around meanwhile just tiptoeing Maya... <laughs> Naya, Nix, and Styx are headed to the pond. Is yep. anybody going with them? It you can't all hide the behind a tree as, it's, as it skitters through. Uh, I would. I, I will it's... accompany them to the pond, just in case anything okay. spooky happens. Cool. Like it. Anybody else? I'm I just going to... I'm, I'm, sure I'm, I'm, I'm maximizing my recovery time. Got it. Okay, cool. So, uh, as you make your way over to the pond... You can see it's this circular uh, manufactured pond on the south side of uh, the river. And there's this sluice gate that is wooden. Um, on the other side, there's this dry channel, right? That leads down towards the mill. Um, and you can see at the very bottom of the pool in the darkness, there is this sort of humanoidy shadow that is just very much at the bottom and when you approach you see the shadow opens and these two glowing beady red eyes look up at you it's Gollum <laughs> what has it got in its pockets us Uh, so I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? It, it, I, well, there's a, where is it? It's at the bottom of this pond. Uh, okay. This round pond, um, and it starts to this shadow um, is like observing you, and it starts to slowly swim up towards the surface. And as it does, you see that this is a feminine figure that is covered in barnacles and shells and uh, like seaweed and also like river moss, like this combination of ocean and sea uh, sort of stuff. And she makes her way up to the yeah. surface of the pool. And then See floats that. and pokes her head up. Uh. She's got a token there. Oh, yeah, I see. I recognize that. Does that look like Gustavo Art? I think that is Gustavo Art, indeed. Yep. Um, yep, I know what this and, is. And uh, <laughs> she Drink Bailey's looks shoe. <laughs> right at Orsmar, and then at Styx, and at Nyx and Naya, and she like each of you in turn. She gets a big smile when she sees. Styx. Immediately, I'm gonna just pop the same things that I had popped the last time. My, uh... Oh, okay. Have a shillelagh ready and my symbiotic. And, uh... She says, Well, 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 dearies! What brings you to my pond? I thought I tasted a little more blood in the water. And she reaches down and she pulls up the head of the woman who you fought in the water earlier and killed. Damn. <clears throat> hmm. Ho hope you enjoyed your snack. Mm -hmm. I 
did. There's uh, the question plenty is... more of that. She uh, looks over at the mill and shakes her head. Too many, too many of them. We might be able to come what? to an arrangement and fix that for you. Too many of them bandits. Is that right? She nods and she says, It seems foolish to go against such a group. Oh, I hate what they're doing. They're always tossing all sorts of garbage and terrible things into my river. Came here years ago from the ocean, you know. Uh, and she starts to, like, move towards the bank. Uh, and as she does, she crawls out, and she's got, like, this almost... Uh, her feet are not f fully flippers, right? But they look like they have scuba fins on them almost, but those scuba fins are made of flesh, and they're part of her feet instead of clothing. Um, and uh, she says, Salty Anne! Pleased to meet you. Um, and it's, she does give off like this sort of horrible, putrid smell as she starts to uh, walk around. In the forest, you can now see this creature. It is daylight, has walked out, and is uh, approaching your friends. Bloody hell. <laughs> I'll buy them. Hey, come in, Lynn. <laughs> yeah, I'll follow, I'll follow Ysgar. Come on, Lynn. <laughs> oh, there's so many of you. I'm gonna scooch my way not, to the. Not front. so foolish to. Not so foolish to head in, with a lot like this, eh? I suppose. Why do they have you all um, hold up here? Well, when I got here, they closed the gate, the sluice gate. They didn't want me getting close to the mill without them knowing it. Uh, the water allows me to cover my approach. When I first was here, I was picking them off one by one, but now uh, it's too risky to approach. The, the whole side of the wall there is open, and she points up to it. Uh, but I don't want to give up my river, my stake. I've made a home here all manner of delightful things that I've got at the bottom of my river. All the bones. All the moss. All the frogs. Seems we have a common foe. You, Indeed. you plan on killing not just the toll takers, but the Baron himself. Is that it? Aye. Uh, yep. We're all gonna go. Every one of seems, them. Seems like that's what must be done. And, uh, what what makes you so sure that you Or take them out of the... What did she take say? Take them out where? Oh. Uh, she, she will walk right up to you, Orsmar, and say, well, what makes you so sure that you can do it? Well, I've vanquished every foe that's been in front of me so far. Plus, I have these strong allies by my side. She sort of sizes you all up and then looks at the head on the ground. Well... You can't live in a pool forever. So what's your plan? If it sounds good, if we're able I'll help. If we're able to, to overtake them up in the mill without sounding off the alarm, and we raise up the sluice gate, will you come and help us? Suppose I will. Now, I will. 
I will. I do believe that you can do this. And she sort of, she looks all of you up and down. She has like a certain uh, appreciation, particularly for Naya, uh, who is also covered in weird junk right now. Um, and uh, she says, I will indeed. I will indeed go with you. Then I will feast upon the Baron's marrow when we lay him low. Um, and uh, the best part. <laughs> uh, Salty Ann is a retainer who is going to join your party. Um, Ooh, sweet. So this is her nice. character sheet, as it were. You'll notice it refers to PB, um, which means that uh, peanut butter. her proficiency bonus is the same as oh. yours. Um, so there are certain things that scale with her proficiency bonus. She has the same level as you. Um, she's like a sidekick character available now in Philly Mortals um, that will go with you to uh, different places. Um, she's a sea hag apprentice is her uh, formal cool. stat block title. Oh, okay. um, she'll just come with us. So it doesn't matter if we open the gate or not now. She can walk out of water. Or do we still need she can walk people? out of water yes and she, so she's she been convinced uh, to come along with you um at that that's moment handy, right because yeah we, yes. if we, we said if we opened the gate it would raise you oh, that's a cool. we don't need to do that now yes yeah yeah Got it. who and is going to run moment, the sea hag that's oh, a good Christ. question Here we go. who would like to run the sea hag in combat um i i could probably do it uh, unless somebody else wants to. Lynn is a relatively straightforward look. character to run. You're the only one not running yeah. about three characters right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, it is pretty straightforward. Let me grab the sea Um And she'll act on your turn, Matt. Uh, at that moment, you see this shadowy figure comes sort of flying back across. And uh, Shadowy figure or a shadow? A shadow. Oh god! A shadowy, god. a figure made of shadow, uh, uh, comes flying back across, and Nyx lands near you, and says, "They're off." It speaks. That's there are thirteen in the first floor. They're having some sort of sparring contest. One is cheating. Uh, <laughs> the is robed it, one cheats. Can the we... Um, is the tree in position? Could we use it to climb up to the third floor? So yes, the tree is in position. It, it should um, be. And you, you could use it to climb up if you wanted to to the third floor. Well, how smart an idea is that? Or, or how stupid an idea is that? Great question. Based on what um, the wizard told us, there were 15 total. Mm -hmm. And then he so amended two, that to two 20. Two for picking. He did amend it. Yeah, uh, yeah. 20, 20 is more than 15. Okay. <laughs> Five more. Odds are better up there, I think. Yeah, so the question is, me. like, do we have any facility for stopping the people on the first two floors from coming up to help? And I don't know the answer to that. But then the reverse is also true. We don't, if we went into the ground, we wouldn't have any way to stop Baron Uthrak from coming down. So the question I'm trying to figure out is, is there, are we destined to fight all these things at once? Um, and <laughs> it's just going to be a giant scrum? Or is it possible, like, if we focus, if we could focus on Baron Uthrak and get him down to the point where he's willing to kind of bargain, then he could call off his people, right? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and, yeah. So you you're know, asking me, is there no, a Colville not, uh, screw built into the? Well, event? yeah. I mean, the, <laughs> the, the whole idea. I mean, uh, yeah, the Colville screw is a thing that players do to themselves. It's not a thing that <laughs> right. dungeon masters do. And so, um, correct. You know, I doubt very much that if we went into the ground floor and started a fight. The Baron Uthrak would just be like, "Oh, I'm sure it's fine, <laughs> right?" Mm -hmm. um, 
if I were running this, he would come down and try to help his people. So I think going straight for though, him. Though, then frankly, if they're having a if they're having a wrestling contest, the sounds might not be that different. Oh uh, yeah, that's uh, that's true. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I guess my question is like, and that's two floors. Do down we have any reason to believe that's true? It's going to take him time to get down there. Um, that, so I mean, if we're destined to fight everything in this building anyway, then it's better to divide and conquer, right? And the other thing the that we floor, should think about is that the the um, they like to throw people into the water wheel. Um, yeah. If we can maybe find a way to keep them from doing that, um, Good. You just t take the water wheel apart. Um, yeah, that'll probably take a little bit longer than we have, but. Um, so I'm just mm -hmm. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to piece I'm I'm trying to visualize our assault in my head and I don't think it because it's going in through the top or going in through the bottom is going to be the same either way it's going to be us us invading them and they will be tactically in a position to like we have to get in right somebody has to go in first either with the bottom or the top somebody's got to go in first and then depending on how initiative falls that person could get smoked um, because a whole bunch of bad guys might act after them before the rest of us can do anything. So um, I guess we could all kind of like time, we could all delay action and stuff. I'm, I'm anyway. happy to go in first. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do it. Yeah. I'll volunteer. Well, do you want to go in through the, yeah. do you want to go, do you want to climb the tree and go in and attack Uthrak first or do you want to go in through the bottom? We got the tree, but we don't need it. We can go in through either. There is a door. I think we gotta go to the top. Right, what? Go, and get, go and get the main guy first. What would Orzmar do? Would Orzmar climb the tree and go into the top and go straight for the jugular, or would he clear the? Um. I, well, I think knowing that that's the guy in charge, I probably would go for him first. I think. Makes sense. But yeah, let's get it. Orzmar would also be happy to jump into a fray of thirteen people yeah. and just start swinging. <laughs> Well, I'm. I'm. I, Lynn is perfectly happy to follow Lord's Mark. Um, how how big is the tree? Like, can two or three of us get it up there at the same time? Oh so yeah. We could like all hop on at the same time rather than one at a time. You could. The tree, the tree is, like is big enough. Level. You could all try to climb it at once if you wanted to. So, right. So we could all be in this tree. This tree just kind of comes around the corner <laughs> into this big open <laughs> side wall, and we all pop out of the tree. I mean, they. Shoot, they're gonna be surprised. Yeah. That's for sure. There's definitely that's that, that's one of the most important parts of any battle plan is the element of surprise. And what right. could be more surprising? <laughs> the wheel pop out of a moving massive tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trojan, yeah. Trojan tree. The Trojan yeah. tree. <laughs> Does it have apples? It. Does it have apples? And we just and they reach out to grab the apples. Oh my like, gosh! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, you fell for the, the tree right, right now. Is sort of very close, and so the, important to note that like. The hole in the wall starts at about 20 feet. The tree rises up to just below that. So you technically, the tree is just under, right, the okay. floor. And you'd be able to easily climb from the tree up to that. That's There's not like a check required for that. But the reason I'm bringing that up is that the tree, with how close it is to the wall, is not necessarily in the line of sight of someone who's all the way like at the back of the room. Got you would it. want to be all yeah. the way at the edge to be able to see the tree. That makes sense. Um, this is an original it's a question of idea. how much noise did the tree make? Do they yeah. know it's there? Right. This is that. Yeah. This is an original idea that I just had. Not something I just read from chat. By the way, <laughs> um, we could right. just we we could just light this place on fire. <laughs> we could just burn the we could bur burn this thing. I feel obligated to suggest I mean, that, even though I, I don't think I don't know that. Yeah. That's somewhat unsportsmanlike. Bad. That's a I mean, hey, like, probably, I'm probably somebody. I don't know if Lynn would say this, or because she doesn't talk. But I, I mean, the mill probably has value to this place and these people, right? Yes. Um, so if Uthrak is some kind of usurper, then ideally we want to get rid of him and keep the mill intact. Sure. But yeah, if you want but, to burn down the mill, I'm prepared for that. I just felt <laughs> obligated to suggest it in case there was like a, a that turns out to be like a cheat code that we could have used. No, I should just burn down the mill. Uh, it's it's a yeah, it could work, but there's something more fun about of all, of all of us climbing this tree and just yeah, that's definitely yeah. coming in on the third floor. And all going, right, ah, Baron, what's yeah, I, I love it. it. 
So well, yeah. as much as can... and sticks are down with burning things, you know, burning yeah, yeah. it to the ground. I, I say think, we uh, use the tree. The tree I think it's the really coolest. Cool. I, it's I don't know if it's going to be tactically stupid or smart, but it's the, it's cool as shit. <laughs> yeah. Just climb a tree and just like YOLO ourselves across. I also the yeah. I also feel like we're a little. It's like a safety net for us because if we do get pushed out, there's a tree there. To catch That's true. Us. That's a good point. Oh, yes. right. That's a good yes. point. That's a neat. We can also just <laughs> technically we could retreat via the tree. Right, we could jump yeah, on a tree. Retreat. Yeah, we could be like, yeah. yeah. Retreat. Wait, retreat. 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 Yeah, I thought I heard good, it. Good, Jen. Good. I like it. I like it. Good job. Uh, okay. Well, then, is the plan to all climb up the tree together? I think Excellent. the plan is... Yeah, I think, I, think, I think somebody had the idea that sounded good to me. I think it might be too late for this, though, to have already climbed the tree and have the tree walk us over there. So that we're in the tree when it shows up. Yeah, but I think I mean too, you can do that if you want. Yeah, uh, you would just have to bring we, the tree so around. I had sent the tree. I had sent the tree yeah. there already before. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, so we could just climb because it originally the 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 idea was to have it yeah. kind of spy, so we could ask it questions before we went in. But I'm gonna get some water. I'll be right back. I don't think. Yeah, we I'm, can I'm down for climbing this the tree. Point. Yeah, I agree. I mean, well, you can if you if you want to ask the tree questions, you can bring it back and ask. The questions so it can dear mr back tree to you you what's it like. like being a tree so yeah the tree the tree lumbers back and sort <laughs> of stands in front of you naya to await it's gonna be loud if it talks though because it speaks aloud aloud right it's not a telepathic yes or a... yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's in, not a telepathic tree. tree speak. Yeah, it's not plants. It's okay. So then, never mind. Um, talking with it may not be the best option now, unless we can get okay. it away. So, nope. cool. I wasn't very excited to do uh, a tree voice or anything. It's all. It's all. <laughs> See, if you want to do a tree voice, we can no, have no. it walk away and come <laughs> back. Kidding. Absolutely. I know what trees. I know what trees sound like. <laughs> what do they sound Let's like? See. So they sound like uh, John Rhys Davies from. Uh, That's right. From, they do indeed. From Lord of the Rings. They sound like non Gimli John Rhys Davies. Uh, yeah. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the other flavor of John Rhys Davies. Indy. Uh, yeah, why does the floor so move? Are we, uh, Pretty dangerous. Tree. You go first. You go first. <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, yeah. Do it. Let's so do it. let's climb the tree. You want to load up on the I tree? Start climbing the tree. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm gonna... following up behind. Oh, oh. I'm a ranged. I'm a ranged oh. character generally, Stack so I don't yourself. need to be anywhere near the front. Um, yeah. Orsmar will also like help pull people up if needed. Okay. Yeah, we don't need yeah. to make any checks to climb because also here? the tree like can help too, right? So between Orsmar and the tree, everybody can get in the branches. Sticks, you are an on fire dog going up in a tree. That's true. Can the can 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 <laughs> Sticks just kind of go? And hold his breath, and the fire goes out. Yeah, it, it, there isn't like that's a, a when you touch I don't know sticks, that's a you take fire damage thing. So it's presumably yeah. it's a thing that sticks can. Suppress, it's, it's just right? a part. It's like, just a particle effect. It's not. It doesn't have a hitbox or anything like that. Yeah, um, exactly, sorry. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cool. All right, so let's get everybody into the tree. Never salty every, all right, everybody into board. the tree. Oh, <laughs> so dirty. I like. Um, yeah. Salty has gone from living at the bottom of a pool to climb it up the top of a tree <laughs> yeah yeah so the end's like wow on, being, being an adventurer is a lot different than i thought it was gonna be yeah. <laughs> is this how you guys normally get around you just like yep that's it yep yep we just uh, go where the tree leads so like, the tree is there like can we get some hammocks <laughs> oh we'll move back well, over so and so you all are now to... down there oh uh, hmm? Because that's where the third now. and other stories of the map are. So, uh, so yes, so you are <laughs> down here, and you uh -huh. can see up into the third story a little bit from here. And what you see up in the third floor are uh, there's a couple of humans standing around a millstone. May I may I go in invisible before oh, yeah. I leave the tree? Oh, absolutely, absolutely, yes. Thank um, you. So yeah, you can be invisible. Anybody can sort of ready the stuff they they want as the tree is making its way okay. over. Um, so there are two humans. So, One is armored and carrying a whip. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go, go ahead and finish. I'll, I'll talk okay. after. Oh, okay. I would like to know. So this one first. is armored. He's carrying a whip and a jeweled longsword. In fact. Oh, that's fucking cool. He looks like this. 
Oh, Ooh. Guy. oh that's beautiful. It's an original Patrick Hell piece. That guy's killer. It's a his stuff oh, Patrick amazing. Hell piece. Yeah, yes. it's some of the best art in the book. Um, and you think, boy, <laughs> this guy lives here and sure is evil. This must be where evil lives. Um, and then, uh, <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. Very uh, good. There's, he's got <laughs> a uh, lives now. That's right. Now, uh, well, I'm back again. There's a woman next to him, uh, and they're talking to each other. She's got a morning star in her hands. And then there's a small contingent of soldiers who are equipped with axes and other weapons. And some of them are by bedrolls. Uh, some are like sharpening their stuff, like looking at their equipment, getting it ready. Um, and there is a wood crane that you can see and there's a guy sitting in the crane but his feet are up and he's actually reading a book um and it is this uh like uh rather thick book and it is called hang on I'll make sure i get the title right uh yeah, how it's called rhymes for little crane. ones oh sorry <laughs> Uh, yes, it's called Rhymes for Little Ones, and it's got uh, like a uh, little teddy like he's bear. Like to read? Sort of embossed on the front. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, well, and I he's, feel bad now. He's, it looks like it's his job to be like watching things, and he is very clearly not. Uh, all right. What I need is one oh, more good. check for the tree here, Jen, to see if they notice you as you make your approach okay. or if you all get a surprise round. Uh, 15. 15. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, no, 16. Sorry. 16. 16. That's important. Not 15. Good to know. Uh, it looks like no one notices the approach of this tree as it sort of rather <laughs> stealthily, silently kind of glides just under and is, is creeping <laughs> close to the edge with all of you in it. Uh, and so you are able to get We'll say, let's see, how far do you want to go? So like there, there-ish. Uh, um, and yeah. that is when- sure. I mean, we could hop um, over there. Like. Yeah, the human looks up um, with the whip and the sword and says, what the fuck? Uh, and let's roll <laughs> for an issue. <laughs> Got a classic like, adi, adi, adi. Yeah. Twenty one for me. Okay. Oops. Oh. That's probably on there. Okay, so there's an eleven. A twenty one. Uh eighteen. Uh, seven for next. What? One D thirty, Jesus. One D thirty. Nyx, oh, Naya is 11, Nyx is 7, Osmar 18, Yeast, Yeast Nor 18. What did you get, uh, Matt? Nine. 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 Right, and if you control any kind of critter, uh, it acts on <laughs> your turn with you. Yep. Just keep and it you're controlling the turn, James. <laughs> Uh, what? I mean, you you tell me what you want the tree to do, and I'll make it do it. They... Yeah. Okay. Uh, what level is the sea hag? Three or five? Uh, five. 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 Wow. Okay, cool. Yeah. Shares your level. That's but not as pretty good. badass. Yeah. 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 Yeah, she can do a lot of shit. Uh, Orsmar, it's your turn first. Um, so I can, I can hop into the room from here, right? You can, yes. Okay. So I'm going to do some barbarian stuff. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to rage. Uh, yeah. And as part of, right. as part of the rage, I have the Tundra Storm Aura, which oh, nice. gives all of my allies three temporary hit points. If they're standing nice. near me, close to me. There you are. They're all uh, on a tree with you. It's 15 and feet, then right? I, in order. Uh, 10 feet. 10 feet. Cool. Perfect. 
And then I, um, I hop off the tree into the room. And I say, nice. Baron, your extortion ends here. And I just rush the Baron. Or is it, oh, is it obvious like who he is? Uh, yeah, yeah. He's he's the guy with the jeweled sword. The best looking sword. Yeah. Nine so lives. I run directly to him. <laughs> Not to be confused with. And, uh, and I'm going to attack him recklessly, which is something I forgot I could do. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Uh, and um, take two attacks. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So you get advantage on those. Bad. That's 11. Okay. That is going to miss. Gonna, yeah, but I assume, yeah. Right. he's got another attack. Yeah, another one. For sure. And that is going to be a 19. 19 um, is definitely going to hit. I am going to try to manifest. Okay. I'm going to try and rewind time. <laughs> Uh, I did. Oh. I rolled a three. I needed to roll a two. And uh, Lynn reaches out after after um, Orismar's first attack, and she kind of does this, and that, and then he gets to make that first attack again. <laughs> sure, okay. with advantage. It's just a reroll. I just like describing it as rewinding yeah. time. Yeah, that's I mean, that's 19. exactly what it is. Actually, that's another nineteen. That's 20, dirty twenty. Boom. Dirty twenty. All right, we're back that. to it, people. The dirty twenties have appeared. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> first attack is this going to be? Wait, yeah, seven damage on the first one. Okay. And that's that's six on the second one. Six and seven. All right. <laughs> he definitely did not expect this. He did not. No. And he is pissed. Why is there a blizzard around you? Uh, <laughs> all right. Why did, why did time just rewind? Um, Yeastnor, your turn. Okay. Um, let me think. Of it. Is there? A, I don't know how to use roll twenty that way. I'm so there's a way to draw. Uh, what do I want to draw? A twenty foot sphere. Hmm. Measurements. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. No, I'm not going to press it. I'm too nervous. Uh, <laughs> these guys. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm pressing it. These guys down into the bottom right, do they just look like. Uh, do they look a bit like the guys we saw on the bridge? They look like a little tougher. Min... A little tougher. Oh, okay. In that case, I. Not a lot tougher, but you can You can be a tough minion. Right. Uh, okay, you... no, that, that's true. That... They're 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 not minions. I don't mind telling you. Okay, that. they're tough. Uh, but, okay, good. They're oh, season that's, that's Yeah. Okay. Um. So you see, uh, uh, oh man, he's still kind of. Uh, There's a lot of people in here, by the way. This is gonna be a big fight. Goes into his uh, <laughs> goes into his bag. He kind of gets out this jug and takes this takes the top off the jug, and there's this horrible smell, and he kind of. <laughs> Try just downs it in one, and then just lets out this almighty burp, and this sort of cloud, horrible, noxious cloud comes out, <laughs> oh of, comes out, comes out of his mouth, and kind of floats down here, sort of down round here. I think that'd be good. Oh, okay. 10, 15, but yeah, and I'm gonna cast a stinking cloud, uh, oh, which would, um, which would cover those four. Um, Right. Guys down in there, the corner. in the right, in the right corner. So, um, uh, within Got the it. cloud, at the start of they t at the start of their turn, they have to make a Constitution saving throw against the poison. On a failed save, the creature spends its action and turn, retching and reeling. Creatures that don't, uh, that's it. Yeah, basically, they lose a turn if they don't make their save. Gotcha. Okay. Got it. All right. So, what on oh, their turn? Oh, hell, that stuff's awful. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, it is awful. You staying on the tree? Uh, I don't want to be in the way of the cloud. How many times have I asked that question as a dungeon master? Are you <laughs> staying you on the tree? The tree? <laughs> oh, the thing around Osmar is just his your blizzard effect, right? That's not a, something that can right. hurt me. Yes, that's that's I just. So, yeah. I believe that's correct. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hop off the tree a bit. I don't know where exactly. Okay. Somewhere over here. 
<laughs> nice. There we go. Right. So uh, that's it is now. It's Baron Uthrak's turn now. Oh, I'm uh, stone a tree. You got to do cool stuff. Um, <laughs> he is going to use Neil Peasant, um, oh, and he kicks the barbarian. Uh, you need to make a strength saving throw, Osmar, or Smar. Sorry. Strength save. Which you're probably pretty good at. So, yeah, but I rolled an eleven. Oh, nice. Um, so he knocks you prone with that. Boom. As he kicks you in the stomach yeah. to the ground. Wait, wait, uh, you also I get advantage oh. on that because of rage. Sorry, let me try again. Oh, go ahead. That's an 18. Okay, well, you stand so, strong yeah. then. So. And he's furious. <laughs> so he's going to take advantage of the fact that you recklessly attacked, and he's going to attack you twice. Uh, <gasps> so he's going to try to nine lives you twice. How I have a question. How many reactions do I can I take? Once per round. Uh, is this is is it, points per round? Like yeah. so, I already took I already took my reaction. I can't do another one. Yeah. yeah. Until you can't do another okay. one until you take your turn, basically. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing: is that's when you said earlier, why would I want the you must use the second result? Why does that need to be there? That's because if you make an enemy roll again and they like get a crit or whatever. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. It's like oh well okay I guess then <laughs> that's the idea. Uh. So uh. Uh, let's see. T1J for Orsmar's AC. Uh, I'm gonna guess that a 25 and a 26 hit. Wait, wait. I'm I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. There is a that no the, 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 the pods appear and distract. I'm ah, gonna lose my barbs. invisibility in a second anyway. I I didn't use it wisely. Uh, so silvery barbs, please. I mean, you never know. Okay. Invisibility is always, you know, useful. All right. So no, because it, it washes at the start of my next turn. So it's they're they're gonna see me. I was hoping to get in the room before they could, but it didn't happen. The first attack misses, then. Silvery barbs. <laughs> uh, but the second um, attack is So, still and then going. I will give uh, the uh, advantage to Orsmar um, on your next attack roll ability save, uh, ability check or saving throw. Um, These silvery cool. barbs. So you it's now a have super that useful ability as well. Oh yeah, yeah. it's a it's a Very it's good. the bane of every DM's existence. Um, really? <laughs> so, yeah. I only get it uh, once though, so yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's why that's why I kept it to fifth level. I was like, I can't stand so many silvery barbs. No, um, so that's a uh, so the second attack though does hit Orsmar for fifteen damage uh, and. Nine of that is slashing, and the other six is necrotic. Ooh. Which is important for you to know, because when you're raging, you half, uh, half bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. All right. Uh, all right. Well, is that a lot didn't... of damage for you? Do you want, yeah. like, I don't know what your hit points are like. Uh, uh, it's... I mean, it's it's a lot, but I'm I'm good at the moment. Okay, okay. All right. Well, then in that case, Beatrice the Cruel is going to go. Oh, no. The wizard did uh, warn us about his names, actually. Now I think about it. Did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. So she is gonna get up on this grindstone that you're on, Orsmar. And uh, she pulls out a morning star, uh, and she is going to try to bash you with her shield first. Okay, so that's a little better. Uh, that's a twenty-two to hit with the shield bash, yep. and it is six bludgeoning damage. Uh, and make another strength saving throw. I'm gonna knock you prone one of these days. <laughs> That is fifteen. Okay, so you managed to stay standing. Um, does a but he, 16... he was just uh, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, uh, no, you're gonna say with this is sixteen. 
Does a 16 hit your AC? That was my next question. Because then the morning star. Oh, no. Down. It does okay. not. So the morning star misses you. Uh, and she yells in your shield. face. Um, I, I scream back. Ah. <laughs> uh, and then, man, the three of you rolled very poorly for initiative, which means that everybody gets to go. Yep. Um, yep. All in one big clump. That's okay. Um, I got a little something, cool. something just in case. All right. These, uh, let's see, two of these raiders run around here to attack yeast. No. What the hell? This guy is in the crane. He's going to do something special. Uh, Why he's still reading his book? <laughs> this guy will come over here. And then the trick uh, shots. Uh, wait, Where's Mario's wait, wait, wait. in the process those, of being very badly flanked? Those uh, four What's down there. Those four down there are in a state. Oh, right. Down. They need to make their uh, save. Thank uh, you. Yeast Thank you very much. Uh, yeast yeast uh, Nor's effluvia. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, my my stinking cloud burp. And right. so what is the con uh what's the DC on that? No, it's constitution Spell save DC? Fo uh, 14. Oh. All right. Well, they're all they're all just puking then. Um, yeah. So, so they just missed their these, turn. Super good. Means these two raiders Very effective. are going to We got this. Uh, we got this. And it exactly. it lasts for a minute. Seven so hours. I guess it's Fuck gonna, off seven every, hours. Be done yeah, minutes. they do it every round. They have to make yeah. the save again. So it. none of them, none uh, of them saved. Brilliant. Yeah. Does a fourteen hit your AC? Yeast no? Uh I have an AC of fifteen. Oh, what a bunch of shit. Um, so no, take that. <laughs> <laughs> and then the one in the crane moves the crane arm over, <gasps> and oh, is no. gonna try to grab the tree with it. But it's just a tree. And do what with it? <laughs> like... That's a great question. Uh, all right. So the tree is grabbed by this hook, and the hook starts to pull the tree around, right? Like trying to uh, basically pull the tree up and, and shake it around and stuff like that. So, Jen, can you, for me, roll a d20, and we'll, I will add the strength modifier for the tree to see what happens uh 14 okay the tree manages to hold steady as the crane is trying to and you can yes. hear like the gears and everything grinding as the tree is trying to hold things in place the roots go down and are digging up dirt as there's this like standoff and you can feel the tension those of you who are in the tree it is now uh naya's turn Okay, um, so Naya is going to, I want to get rid of that, uh, the, the crane crane person seems to be making some trouble, so I'm going to deal with that first. Um, I would like to, um, oh, I, am I within 30? Yep. Um, Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, vines shoot out and start wrapping around that person's head. Um, uh, oh my god! Impairing their their it muffles any sounds around them. It makes it impossible for them to see what is happening. I cast blindness deafness. Um, nice. It's a con fifteen save. Oh no! No no! Okay, I fail. <laughs> um, so okay. we have a as bl as uh, these vines and stuff wrap around, making it hard for them to see. That's cool. Uh, Excellent. Anything else? Um, so yeah, they cannot see. Um, and then I already have my shillelagh out. Um, I'm going to move up. Oops, uh, move myself up just a little bit so that I'm still on the tree, but uh, closer in to these these two. Gotcha. That they okay. are, are now within 10 feet of me. All right. So Four as reasons. you end your turn, Baron Uthrek is going to use his villain actions, mm -hmm. uh, which allow him oh. to do mm -hmm. stuff off turn, mm -hmm. basically. Uh, whose idea was this? Bad uh, idea? Bad design. 
<laughs> and yeah, uh, he uses. <laughs> um, what's he gonna do? He uses. He shouts to the archers, "Shoot!" And they are coughing and ratch, like hacking up and everything. Um, but uh, it does mean that uh, they are able to, because of their baron commanding them, able to uh, have the presence of mind and the wherewithal to raise their crossbows, and they're going to fire at Orismar here. Really doesn't like being pinned down. All right, so... Oh, shit. Orismar. I don't... Oh, no, never mind. Haha. -ha. You are hit twice by crossbow bolts for seven piercing damage each time. Uh, point of order? The first... Yes. The, those two separate attacks? Yes. As a reaction to the first attack, because uh -huh. I can see Orzmar. Um, yes. Uh, Lynn does the typical, like, da -da -da thing, and there's an uh, invisible uh, force barrier. The, like a like the oh, shield, nice. like the shield from the 1984 Dune movie, <laughs> is now is now protecting is now protecting Orzmar. Um, when I or Orzmar is hit by an attack, I can use a reaction. Oh shit! Never mind. Fuck off. I don't have another. I don't have a reaction yet. I don't oh have okay. <laughs> Fuck. It's not enough. That would have been really cool though, because <laughs> so it would have protected him all of the way until like his next round. <laughs> oh, oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how do I get how do I how do I get multiple reactions? What do I gotta do? Uh, that's a good question. Uh it is your turn now, Lynn. You can do what you'd like. Well, wonderful. Um I'm trying to think of is it best to focus on Baron Uthrak or is it best to focus on clearing as many of his, of his allies as possible. And I don't know that there's an obvious answer. Um, if the leader goes down, they might be more inclined to surrender. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you're not wrong. Um, I, um, I'm going to stay in the tree. I, also, I got, can't forget, I also am in control of the sea hag. Uh, and so... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Actually, I'm going to climb out onto this branch. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. So I'm 30 feet away from Baron Uth Uthrak. Um, and, uh... Hmm. Yep, that sounds good. I guess I'll go for it. Fuck it. I'm going to use um, Dagger of the Mind. Again, my third order, my only third order power. Those of you watching, mm -hmm. third order, like level three, same thing. Power is like a spell. I lash out with my mind to psychically damage Baron Uthrak. Baron Uthrak must make an intelligence saving throw. The DC is 15. On a failed save, he will take 4d10 damage. I don't like it. Uh, all right, so <laughs> Baron Uthrak fails the save. However, you ah. see the sword huh? in his mm -hmm. hand. Mm -hmm. It's got these nine gems in it. Six of them are dim another yeah. one of the three that remains bright dims and mm -hmm. you see blood trickles down from his hand and he succeeds on the save instead gross oh wait i didn't roll my manifest i didn't roll my manifestation check um, but he does take damage this is a level three spell so i got actually i could just do it right here in chat uh that's always useful slash roll one d6 i want to roll higher than a three fuck all right i only take one strain now. <laughs> If I roll exact, if I roll exactly the number, I only take one strain. If I roll less than the number, I take strain order equal to the power order of the power. Um, so I'm going to take another soul strain. So I have two soul strain, and he takes half this damage and can take his turn normally. Um, eight, nine, ten, twenty. Twenty points of damage. Okay. No, I'm sorry. Twenty, and then you divide by half. Yeah. Yep. So ten. Got it. Yep. Uh, oh, and then the sea hag goes. Sea oh, hag. Yeah. Nice. Um, uh huh. Yep. So uh, sh the sea hag is going to get melee or ranged. Uh, sixty. What's sixty feet? Okay, so she's well within range. 
Uh, she's going to decide to stay on the tree. She likes the tree. Um, okay. Uh, I am, she is plus six to hit. So let me roll in the thing here. Slash roll 1d20. Slash roll 1d20 plus six. Three plus my proficiency bonus, which I, fifth level should be three. Right? Right. Yes. That is an 18. Does, does he have 18 AC? He does have less than that. So yeah. Okay. Excellent. Good. Thank goodness. Um, so this is Ride the Lightning, which I can do three times per day. As an action, the Sea Hag supercharges um, Baron Uthrak's nervous system, making a signature attack, which is a D8 lightning damage. Actually, it's 2D8 because she's fifth level. Um, uh, and, and he has to make a DC 13 constitution save. Yeah. So I am doing... Damn. 2d8. Natural one. Hang on. So I just did. So the Sea Hag does 13 damage with um, with what, what? It's it's lightning damage, as far as I can tell. Yeah. So she just yeah she like uh like a line of lightning, like almost like one of those fuses that you light and they go psh, like that, except it's lightning. And when it hits him, it goes up his um nervous system and you see his skeleton his... cartoon style yeah 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 <laughs> nice. uh, so he has to make awesome. his constitution save if he fails he is incapacitated ah well he's definitely and gonna his... use because i rolled a natural one that's right uh, that's right he's... burn through some of those yeah he's definitely gonna you see <laughs> a whole pool of blood now forming at his feet he takes damage each time he uses this legendary resistance, oh really by the way oh that's cool that's good yeah to know. good so um so yeah and there's only one of these gems left and it looks like it's sapping the life out of him as he sort of pants i mean it might be um, easier just to take eat the lightning bro might have been is, is what might've the sea been. hag the sea hag could talk i can't that's right she, she doesn't say she doesn't say yeah, it might have been, been easier just to yeah. eat the lightning dairy yeah. uh yeah thank you thank you well done uh and i think that's my turn <laughs> As voiced by Mark Thomas Joker. Uh, okay, so then it is Nyx. Nyx and Styx and All Shadow. right, and the Shadow, yeah. All right, first, uh, I'm going to move the Shadow over to the Baron. Um, it's just, mm -hmm. you, you're just going to see, like, this Shadow move across the floor and then, like, appear behind the Baron. Um, and it is going to uh, just reach out to the Baron and make a strength drain attack. Okay. Eight. Uh, so that's 22 to hit. 22 is definitely going to hit. And strength drain. Let's see. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> strength drain. <laughs> yes. Yes, oh, there's oh, more I coming. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so that is... Uh, 10 necrotic damage and this is the part I don't want to uh, is it... yeah his strength is reduced by 4 Jesus <laughs> <laughs> it's not fun when it happens to an NPC it's more fun when it happens to... <laughs> uh, okay and then... so Baron Uthrak has All minus right. 4 strength and then um I guess yeah. Nyx, no, Styx is going to go next, so I have to roll for Ferocity. Um, I guess I have to move first to figure out where we're going to be and then add the, how many characters. Uh, so it's at the start of the around? turn, right? so it's 1d4 plus at 1 the start. at the okay. start of the turn. Yeah. Okay, so I've got two Ferocity then, and then... Um, I think Nyx, uh, no, sorry, Styx is going to just sort of bound forward toward uh, cool. the Baron as well and nice. make a, probably a signature attack. Okay. Yeah, let's do a signature attack here. Go for it. Um, oops, I rolled damage first. <laughs> Uh, that is a 15. Damn. Okay. Does that hit? That does not hit, actually. And All right. The Baron will use Repost, 
which means he gets to attack sticks. Yeah. Oh no. And he's going to use exploit opening, which is a human ability uh, that allows him to gain advantage on an attack. Um, so that is going to be, and he's going to need it because his strength has been reduced by somebody. Uh, <laughs> okay. So uh, that is 20, a dirty 20 against yep. uh, sticks. And that is nine You're slashing. Pathetic. Yep. <laughs> oh. oh, no. No, I feel no. bad about it. Uh, nine <laughs> slashing and three necrotic to sticks as the Baron right. slashes in. We're back at the top for four small ones. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Um, let's see. I, uh, I can, uh, as a bonus action, I can refresh my Tundra Aura, which okay, give me three temp HP, and I guess Sticks will also get it. Yep, Sticks, and the Shadow oh, that's, technically that's gets three temp and, HP. Oh yeah, the Shadow. Oh, oh, is it a? How, what's the <laughs> radius on that? Ten feet. Just ten feet ten of feet. me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, if Matt Driscoll were standing five feet closer, but whatever. Oh, <laughs> he's gonna die five feet further away. Yep, that's a problem. Yep. Wait, what? <laughs> I gotta say, I feel incredibly positive. About Everything's our fine. Progress it's so fine. Far. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's in the back. Uh, I'm trying to decide if I should do this. Yes. You All right. I'm. I'm going. I'm going to. Uh, I see that um, uh, people near me have been sort of disabled a little bit. So I'm going to mm -hmm. use my action to. You see, like frost sort of gather on my skin and hair as I drink a potion of frost giant strength. Oh shit! <laughs> <which> makes <laughs> my strength twenty three. Okay. Holy shit. Well. <laughs> Fudge. Uh, okay. Cool. And, I, and well, that when will be my that turn. happens, uh, Baron Uthrak, uh, panting, bloodied, weakened, um, turns to everyone and says, Form up! Using his next villain action because it's a new round. Um, and he, they all get to move without provoking opportunity attacks. Ah. Uh... Is there a way to edit? Is it too late to edit this guy's stats and give him take his next um, villain wait, action? Did, we surrender. Did, hey, one second. Did did the guys in front of me get their turn yet? Did they start their turn yet? Oh yes, they did. Because at the start of one of their turns as a reaction, I would like to use Halo of Spores, please. Oh okay, yes, Halo of absolutely. Spores. Go for it. And I get to use double uh, to do double damage. Uh, so I need a con save DC fifteen. From which? Being, would you like? Uh, let's go with the one right in front of me. Ooh, nice. Okay, let's save this one. Cool. That they're, they're also they're also in the stinking cloud still, if that matters. Those four. <laughs> so I don't it matters know. to me. Oh yeah. Yeah, those it's, four. It's an extra fail. Me, actually, <laughs> it's it, not only is it a fail, it's an extra fail. <laughs> right. Okay. Good. So then, uh, it's, they take seven points of damage. Seven points on top of everything else. Great. Cool. Um, so when he uses form up, it's going to allow everyone who is not in the stinking cloud to move. Um, so he moves back and he actually moves up this ladder and is going up. to come out onto the roof. Uh, oh, um, I have an idea. Sorry. And these two raiders come with him. Meanwhile, uh, this raider who is blinded cannot, we'll say, does not know where to go or where to move. Beatrice the Cruel runs the other way and opens this trap door and starts going down a ladder. Are we going to be seeing something else in Roll20? And no. you... I can't see. You said you said a, a roof, but I don't see a roof. Yeah, just up. Oh, I yeah. Just... I will uh, give me a second and I'll be able to make the roof oh, okay. visible. Okay. Cool. But just know that it's above you and not next to you when you see it. Uh, gotcha. Some went up, some went sense? down. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and you hear her, Beatrice the Cruel, as she's going down, yells, 
Dog face, get your drunken ass up! Dog face, yeah. that sounds like a, a bad. I bet I, I bet that's the guy that's cheating. With the old, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the old boxing match over there. Uh, that is the end. It's Yeastnor's turn. Yeastnor, bloody hell! Oh, it is, is it? Uh... Um, I, I haven't gut. gone this round, I don't think. Oh, uh, I think you went. It, so we just got back to the top. So Osmar went. Oh, and then oh I'm in the middle of this time. Never mind. Used. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's okay. No, yeah, please feel free to call me out if you think I've missed your turn because it's already happened once this game. So. <laughs> um. So the Baron went up to the roof, right? He did. So I, I think I'm gonna follow him up. Follow him up. Go for it. Um, if I can with my movement, um, so I can see. So I'd pop up here, right? Is that where the trap yep. door? Trap exactly. Door? Yes. Trap door is right there. Trap okay. door. Yeah. Trap door. Um, oh, this and is I'm excellent. Going to uh, <laughs> yeah, this is probably a bad move, but no, 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 you're fine. You're not going to be alone so there for this, long. This might work, or maybe not. Well, let's see. We'll find out. I am going to use dissonant whispers. So um, I'm going to start singing very, very badly. I'll first, the old bagpipes will start going. And I'll start this awful, awful song. <laughs> hey, oh, what? You're going to die today, barren bastard face. Oh, yeah. And so he starts hearing this awful, awful racket in his ears. And he has to make a Wisdom 14 save. Okay. I do it. Oh, he got it? I do. Well, Boom. Then, okay, then you're just going to take half this damage. <laughs> That's a bit annoying because if you didn't, you'd have to run away as far as you could. I but also find it annoying when bad guys make their saving throws. That should not be allowed. Yes, so do I. You are kind of... Uh, if only there were some sort of new RPG. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've gone completely blank. Ten points of damage, unfortunately, so it's half. Okay. Got it. That's still, I mean, that's a, a significant it's amount not, of damage. Yeah. Yeah, it's better than a stick in the eye. Yep. have to move away, yeah. though, so that's it. That, that uh, I moved up, I cast that. Yeah. And I think that's probably it for me. All right. So uh, Baron Uthrak pulls out his whip, whip, and is going oh, to whip you, ye snore. He'll use oh. another exploit oh, opening man. to get advantage. Uh, so that is... <laughs> oh, right, because he's got his... Oh, well, that's his dex. Oh, my God. Uh, that's great. Sorry. So that's a 25 to hit? <laughs> yeah. So that is going to be six slashing damage to you. And make a strength saving throw, my friend. Six slashing damage. There was a one point where we got some temp health. Have I still got that? You didn't yep. get it. I did. I was did told. Okay. Like, you know, at the beginning, everybody got it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's uh, six. So I'll do that and take three off my main then. If that makes sense. So, and make a okay, strength then... save, OD. A strength save is coming in now. Okay. Thirteen. My nope. You get pulled. My... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's fucking cool. Yeah. I get him. I don't know why. I guess because he's our bad guy. He's our. He's MCDM's monster. Suddenly, I feel a <laughs> that you're like pride in Baron Uthrak. I'm like, yeah. I get him. <laughs> I should. Uh... We want to win. So then, uh, and then as he brings you in, he slashes nine lives across. Um, and you got to remember, he's got that strength penalty. So it is 20, a dirty 20 against your AC, which we know is a hit for seven slashing damage, plus another three necrotic. So 10 more total. So he cuts into you. And then he uses Neil Peasant and kicks you in the gut. Make another strength saving throw. Bloody hell. Seven. All right, so you fall to your knees and take another six bludgeoning damage as he kicks you. Bloody hell. <laughs> um, so you're prone and on the ground, 
Uh, and he's uh, standing over you. And it is Beatrice the Cruel. She's, uh, you hear her continue to shout. Sounds like maybe um, she's shaking someone right now down there. Get up, dog face. Get up. Um, and then the baddies go, and they are so excited. So let's see. Uh, at the start of is up. their turn. Oh, yes. Go ahead. Another reaction. Uh, Fail again. So they need to save against 15. Okay. Been in wretched, are they? Good. Good. Is that a concentration spell, OD? Uh, let me just. Uh, I would. I would check, but uh, at the moment I can't look at my spell. Oh, let me have a look. Let me have a Fine. look. <laughs> okay. Uh, nice. Yes, James. It is a concentration spell. So I think you got to make three concentration saving throws because you took three instances of damage. Each one's okay. DC Okay. Constitution. Okay. Let's try. First one, fifteen. Succeed. Sec second one, nineteen. Succeed. Third one, eleven. Ah, by the skin of your fucking teeth. Um, <laughs> okay. So did you just make uh, they three all. Saving throws? Did you just make three con saves? Man, he did. Good. He's a dwarf. <laughs> yeah, that, fair enough. Yeah, uh, good point. And I do have a, a plus one, two a two, on a it. five, and a one. So they continue to wretch down there. Uh, however, my two raiders up here. I'm gonna try to. Um, get you, OD. Uh, they, what? let's see, you're prone, so they have advantage on that. <sighs> uh, yes. So, both of the raiders, the human raiders who are around you, OD, uh, you know what? Leave me alone. Nah, they're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna kill you. Um, <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> I was just seeing R. how R. close you were to the edge of the roof, and I realized I foolishly pulled you away from it. You know, I talked um, to um, I talked to Phil OD, and he said if you die in this session, then you die no. in Valengard. So sorry, bad news for you. Sorry. Uh, no, 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 no. This so is Eastor's uh, twin brother. Nineteen and twenty-one <laughs> to hit. Uh, yeah, nineteen and twenty-one hit. So I have an AC of fifteen. Okay, great. So that's five slashing damage from each of that's, those as they come down on five you. Five uh, of each, so ten total. Yeah, ten total. Mm. Yeah. And this other one who is currently blinded by vines. Uh, blinded what is by he gonna do? vines. I, he's like, he's like basically playing with the, tr the controls of the crane, but he's not like a crane operator, right? It's not like this is a thing he's been doing all the left, time. Left, right, left, right. Um, so he's down. not really successfully doing anything right now because he can't really see what he's doing. I think he gets to save at the end. Is that correct, Jen? I'm double checking. He doesn't if he doesn't, so it doesn't matter. Um, so he remains blinded. It is now your turn, Naya. Yes, at the, at the end of each of its turns. Okay, um, let's go ahead and... Orsmar's not... How's Orsmar doing? Um, like HP wise, um, uh, not, not, not too no. bad. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Okay. Um, yeah. let's. And where's the Baron right now? He's on the roof. He's on the roof. He's up with on me. Okay. That's doing it in a Midwestern. I don't want you soloing Virginia. the Baron, but um, let me try and take out one of these guys that's in front of me. I'm going to go ahead and shillelagh the one that's that's right there. Um, okay, cool. And see what happens with that. This guy. Nope. Womp womp. Nine. Okay. I'm going to assume that's it. That's it. I'm going to assume that's a nine. Um, that is correct. Okay. That is a nine. <laughs> Is there anything else I can do here? Um, not really. Okay. I think that's it for right now. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'll, th I'll throw a... Uh... No, that's fine. That's it. Help! 
Uh, are you? Did you potions as action or bonus action? It's sorry. Uh, uh, it's an action. Full action. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that's it. Sorry. I miss East North. It's almost like I can still hear him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like that he's already written off as dead. Uh, Lynn. Oh, it's me. Uh, uh, how how tall is this tree? Actually, can I see the roof from outside here? So you can't, right? If you're looking at the roof, you're technically on this side of it, and it's a sloped roof. So you wouldn't be right. able to see Baron Uthrak from where you are. But I can, can I see the roof? Can I see this side of the roof? Like, he's on this side. Can I see this side? Oh, yeah. Side? Like, yeah, I'd instance, say you could probably can see, I like, see Can I see edge. this spot, like, here, right? Yes, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, we'll say yeah. Um, then I am going to, um, manifest, I'm going to jaunt. Um, I bend right. the space, I, I'm going to bend some space and time, mostly space, uh, allowing me <laughs> or one willing creature I touch. I thought about doing this to, um, Orzmar to keep him in melee, but I'd have to, I'd have to get to him and then I wouldn't be able to see the roof at that point. Um, so it's a space, an unoccupied space I can see within 30 feet of me. So the farthest away roof part. <laughs> oh, actually... <laughs> No, I guess, okay. If I target another creature, I'd have to move. They do not have to be able to see the destination. I assume that I still do, though. Like, yes. I have to see it. So it wouldn't, it's not like, got it. All right. I rolled a four. It will be a four when it's done. Yeah, I rolled a four, so I manifest without strain. And I jaunt. I just disappear and appear within, what is it? Um, 30 feet. So if I assume that's... So, yeah. However, yeah. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't matter because I'm going to be in range no matter what. And then that's my action. And then um, I'm going to stay here and not do anything because <laughs> if I if I run up no. there, it'll say, whatever. I can't help you if I'm dead. <laughs> I already used my action. I could use my I could use my movement to get closer. Oh, but to what, what is... end? I wouldn't be able to do anything. I don't have like a. I don't have like a. I need my action point from fourth edition. <laughs> uh, I, ain't <laughs> yeah. got, I ain't got one of them. Seriously, so. I, I think uh, John is a. Oh no, John is an action. Yeah, yeah John's John. Whoever, yeah, John's an action. Uh, you can so upcast it to make it a bonus action, basically. I can. Yeah, yeah, you no. can yes. manifest it at a higher you order. You can increase the powers order by one to make it a bonus action. Um, I would like to petition the dungeon master. You can. Uh, okay. Because we're yes. already running over. <laughs> are, are we? Oh, okay. Um, uh, I don't want to hold people up, by the way. Um, we can we can pick an arbitrary point to wrap this up so people are people can go. But yeah, um, I am going to change That's that true. to what a... What is everybody's... Is it okay that we've run over? I just realized that we did, so I apologize. I am okay right now, yes. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. almost done. Are we? Good. Because Lynn... Lynn is going to run up. She's, Jaunt is a bonus action. She just goes, blip. And um, I rolled a four. It takes a second power to a third power, so I'm still over three. And now I think I'm going to use Flay, and I'm going to upcast it. Um, okay. 15-foot cone, but if I upcast it, it goes up by 2d6. So that's 46 damage to these three. So I, wanna, I, want, I, want the, I want one side of the cone to be like this. So I don't hit right. Nisnor, and I flay these three people. So yeah, um, Lynn's eyes glow, and a gout of prismatic fire erupts from her eyes. And you can say, you shoot 15 feet. Yep, 2d6 plus 2d6, because I'm upcasting. So it's 4d6. And they, he has to do something. Intelligent saving throws. Ha ha ha! Intelligent saving throws, DC 15. All right. Good. Ooh. Ah! Baron Uthrak saves, the others do not. Oh, fuck off, Baron Uthrak. Ugh. <laughs> um, that's pretty good. Uh, 19 points of damage. That's only, that's only five points off max or whatever, yeah. All right, well, these yep. oh, and now individuals. A, uh... <laughs> Looking bad. I've got a squid. I've got a not a squid person. I've got a a, a, a conch shell person. Oh yeah. I've got a sea hag. What can Better a sea hag do? Uh, Saltian, help me. She doesn't have. Yeah, I don't think she has. She has deception <laughs> and intimidation. 
Uh, she doesn't have wind. teleport. Um, could she climb up onto the roof? Yeah, sure. Uh, she could make an athletics check. Okay, well, she'll make an athletics check. Uh, she just has. Um, I rolled. I rolled a nine, which I, I suspect is not. Uh, athletics is strength, and she's mm -hmm. plus zero to strength, and she's not proficient, so I don't know if a nine is good enough. Yeah, she just scrabbles along the wall, uh, but doesn't really. <laughs> Poo! Is that a movement? Yeah, so uh, she can still see some of these bad guys, right? Uh, right. Uh huh. That doesn't work. Uh, she'll try to ride the lightning again. So that's. Um, <laughs> she's going to zap. 10 plus 6 is 16 damage to, I guess, this person here. This knave. Okay. I know that art. I don't know their stats. Uh, and it is. Uh, little does everyone know I've changed. I'm using the raider. I'm using the knave art to represent raiders right now. So, it's a right. So he on. takes uh he takes a D8 damage, just from the attack. Okay, which is seven seven points of damage. And because I was riding the lightning, I could do that one more time, three times per day. Uh, they have to make a DC 13 Constitution save. Or they become incapacitated. Hell. So they are incapacitated, and, their, and speed, incapacitated. <laughs> their speed is halved until the end of the next turn. But can you move while you're incapacitated? Question mark. Uh, so when you're incapacitated, you can't act, take action. You can't you act. Can you move. can move. Got it. Yeah. yeah. They're not stunned. Yeah. All right. That is the end of my turn. Wow. <laughs> All right. I, I jaunted. I flayed, and I rode the lightning. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. So, uh, first things first, the shadow is going to like sort of go up as a shadow up the ladder. And oh, oh sure. can we get the shadow up on this rooftop? Yes. Can the shadow not get up? There you go. All right. And I think the shadow is just going to move into like right in front of or. I don't know if that's technically allowed. Go over here and just reach over to uh, the Baron again and okay. attempt to make an another one of those strength drain attacks. Go for it. That is a uh, 13. Nice. That misses, right? That uh, does, does that indeed miss? missed. Yes. Miss. Okay. All right. So then the shadow is just going to uh, take a bonus action to hide uh, in a shadow. And then the uh, sticks is going to uh, rush up the, the ladder as well. Um, oh, no. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And going to take some inspiration here from Lynn. Uh, oh, I forgot to um, do the ferocity. So it's three. Um, so ferocity is up to a five at this point. Nice. And I believe we can do. Uh, nice fire breath, uh, taking inspiration from Lynn and angling the cone so that it hits all five. Um, yep. Hopefully, um, they all need to make a DC 14 dexterity saving throw. Cool, 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 cool. Yep, sounds good. These two are about to die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I think, yeah. It doesn't really matter what they rolled. They are. They had already taken 19 from Lynn, so they were down. Yay. So they are. Those two die. Baron Uthrek, the fire washes over him. He does make a save, but he's going to take half damage. So, man, cool. Oh, does he have man. any? How, what's his? How's his sword looking? Does he have any auto save <laughs> things left? He's still got one left. He's man. he's just been pretty lucky with these saves so far. Yeah. <laughs> How does he look? Is he looking a bit beat up, though, at least? Oh, very from beat my, up. <laughs> from my prone spot. <laughs> uh, I think that's it for uh, Nixon Sticks and How Shadow. How much was the damage? 
Oh, um, I'm sorry. I that was three d six. Uh, it should be three d six. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that is uh six total. Okay. So it would be half of that, right? Right. Yeah. Hey, every little bit helps. Um. Mm -hmm. All right, Orsmar, it's your turn. Come on, come on, join the party. Come upstairs. <laughs> all, right. all of a sudden, he's will, outnumbered uh... on the roof, and he's like, "How did this happen?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna play off the idea that defeating the leader might be the best idea, so I am going to go up. Um. Uh, I want to, can I do like, I want to replace my first attack with like a shove attack to try to shove him just like five feet away from Yisnor, if possible. Absolutely. Yeah. Athletics check against his, uh, athletics, which is bad right now. Cause he has had his strength reduced. Correct. Cool. Um, and you have advantage okay. cause you're raging. Yes. Oh, not great for him. Uh, that's 22. Yep. You push him back. Uh, you want to go diagonal like that? Uh, <laughs> push him off the roof. Yeah, Put, that... Let him fall to his death. <laughs> Break oh, his yeah. neck falling off the roof. <laughs> no, I, probably wouldn't, I probably wouldn't push him in melee range of sticks. So maybe just one square. Oh, okay. Like there. Yeah. And then I'm okay. going to... Then I'm going to scooch in between uh, and then take my second attack. Okay. Uh, recklessly. Nice. And that is going to be uh, 19. Uh, 19 will hit. That's gonna be twelve damage. Okay, and nice. um, and as a bonus action, I'm going to raise my sword like He Man and refresh the Tundra Aura, giving everyone here, or all of my allies here, three temp HP. Oh, I'll take those. Thank you. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that's awesome. This uh, is the best. Oh, also, I, I will use the Slasher feat to reduce his speed by ten. Might as well. Oh, oh yeah! Nice. Oh yeah! Nice. Oh yeah! What happens if we <laughs> kick him off the roof, but his he doesn't have enough movement? Does he oh. just suspend in the air while he? No, sorry. <laughs> Stupid joke. Uh, yes. He is going to use his final villain action at the end of your turn. Yeah. Is it the end of your turn? These are bad, by the way. The, he, this is his. Oh, yes. This is oh, bad this news. Is like the Hail Mary was, kind of thing. Eh? Yeah, this is the this is the I'm losing and I want you to remember me mobility. <laughs> Okay. Which I don't know what is. So I don't remember what Baranuthrax ability is. Lead from the front, which means he gets to move up to twice his speed, which is, I mean, now only 20 feet, um, but 40 feet because he's been slashered. Wait, f twice his his normal speed is 20 feet. Twice of that is 40 feet. Um, he is Carry going on. to, and then he gets to make an attack against uh, four different people that he moves by. Oh. He wow. Um, so Let's... he's going to start, of course, with our barbarian friend, Orsmar. Um, oh, and he has advantage on all these attacks, too. I should have oh, does that. he? Uh, Who made this nonsense? <laughs> uh, Paul Hughes, actually. Uh, Paul, Paul Hughes, Hughes. Uh, made this dungeon and uh, and also made Baron Uthrak and all the humans. Well, so thank you, I'm Paul sorry, Hughes. Paul. I was trying to have Paul, a go at these two, not you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paul Hughes. Uh, thank you, Paul. Um, so that is going to be a 24 against your AC okay. there, Horsemar. That'll hit. Uh, uh, I For am going... seven. Okay, oh. yeah. I don't, think, I don't think this is... I don't think... N n well, no, uh, that would... No. Uh, I'm going to use okay. Invisible Armor, which I don't think is going to stop you from getting hit, T1J, but it lasts It lasts until my next... Or your next turn. So it... Um, oh, cool. The start of my next turn. So, yeah, it just increases his AC by my intelligence, which is four. Cool. So, I don't know if that's going to make a difference, because uh, I don't know what your AC is. It was... What was... It, that makes my AC it 23. It was 24 so. to hit. Yeah. 
So just 23 F. One under. Well, it's still, it'll, <laughs> it'll be 23 until my next turn. So That's great. All right. So that's seven slashing and three necrotic to you. Okay. okay. And then moves over here and he's going to attack Lynn. I'd prefer if that Lynn? didn't happen. Uh, well, in that case, does a 18 hit your armor class? Yeah, my, my 12 AC, I'm unarmored. I'm just standing here in normal clothing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so that is... Uh, hang on a second. Oh. I don't like this. It's a big old 10 slashing and 4 necrotic to you. Uh, 10 slash, so 14, uh, 3 temp is 11 from 21 is 10. I have 10 hit points. Yeast nor a dirty Oof. twenty against your AC. Oh yeah. Great. So that is gonna be seven slashing and one necrotic to you. Oof. Not as memorable. Oh wait, uh, sorry, uh, so uh, we had three, so it's eight. It's five, right? I'm down to ten hit points. Alright. Well. Then he runs I, um... and leaps off the side of the building and lands what? in the tree. What? Wait, wait, a speed. <laughs> wait, uh, uh, Jay's gonna do something. Does he take opportunity attacks during this? He does not. He does not okay. Sadly. Oh. That's our tree. You can't have our tree. Yeah, get out. And then of he's gonna stab <laughs> Nix. <laughs> can the tree just go so, so ah? And he jumps into the like. Go ahead. Wait. Yeah, I want to. So I mean, the tree can definitely attack him. So as soon as soon as he gets here, I, I haven't used my reaction this turn yet, right? Because the have the bandits attacked yet this this turn? No, no, no. Yeah. Okay. So I'll Before I'll start with that. the hail of spores against him, so he's gotta make a con save. Um Okay. And the Before tree, all that, I, I, I oh. took um another uh feat that DMs love, Sentinel, which oh, he does right. so he doesn't take okay. opportunity attacks. But You're I do right. since he but... attacks someone near me, I, I can attack him. Yeah. You can attack him. And also you oh, get to shit. attack you get to just ignore opportunity attack stone happen rules and stuff with sentinel it's great you know, cool. it says Super if cool. they take the disengage action i don't know if that if that counts oh this, okay gotcha but... yeah yeah that's fair it does not technically okay. rules as written but I, good I job us attack. good job paul uh, hughes and that's gonna be 28 to hit <laughs> 28 hits And that's going to be eight eight more damage. Let's get him. Does that stop his movement or anything? Um, I don't think so. It, I think that's only if they take. It, wait. Hold. Only if they disengage, right? Okay. Uh, Actually, I might be wrong. Though. Yeah, so this is not technically an opportunity attack. You're using your reaction to make a melee attack. <laughs> yeah. Fair. yeah weird. Okay, Perfect. got it. So then he does leap down into the tree, and he's got to make a con save. Uh, 13 con save? I don't think that's going to do it, Jim. Uh, fails, so he's going to take four. Okay. Yeah. And then you want to roll the tree attack falls now? Falls out of the tree, hits the ground. Sorry. Uh, do you want no, me to roll the tree attack on, now? Your I'll wait until my turn. Okay. Uh, however, Nyx, all of this was to get to Nyx and stab Nyx. Uh, and I think I missed. <laughs> uh, Nyx, is, does it 13 hit your AC? Probably not. No. And so Uthrag is now nice in try. the tree covered in <laughs> spores and frost and wounds and is like, oh, shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Parla parlay? And now we turn on Par oh. Parlay! Oh, I, think. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped into this tree for a parlay. <laughs> uh, you all can hear at the start of the bandits next turn a lot of raucous noise downstairs now in the first floor as an alarm has been raised. Um, and Baron Uthrak says, like, Get out here, you! Uh, and Baron Uthrak uh, would take his turn, but it's actually Yeastnor's turn. Yeah. 
Yeah, I am prone, aren't I? Uh, how do I unprone myself? Just uh, use half your movement to end up. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, simply just. Yeah, simply just. Well, half. Well, hang on. My movement's twenty-five. So, oh god, what's that? <laughs> Twelve and a half. <laughs> Twelve and a half left. Uh, Grids are great until they're not. Yeah, right. It worked for a long time yeah. until it didn't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. so I guess I'm kind, of, I'm kind of there, right? So I could I could see Baron. Um, uh, so technically, there, he's right? on this side of the roof, right? Because you're up here uh, on the roof. So you see. would want to move this way. But the roof is the roof is sloped. So if you got uh -huh. to like there, I was there, I could get to like. Here. I mean, I'm kind of here. I can't yeah. do. I can't. Okay. Half the that, grid. That works. But... I get it. Twelve and a half. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. sounds good to okay. me. Okay. Right. Let's, let's see what we can get him with. Uh, oh, that's at sixty feet. You know, I might try. I might try and sh shatter this guy again because he's uh, covered in frost as well. Frost, frost and ice shatters. So he's going to have to make a con, uh, con fourteen save. Okay fail yeah that means he's going to take all this damage roll nice roll oh you did roll nice 23 i rolled eight eight and a seven with three d8s jesus oh boy okay yeah he looks really bad now <laughs> bagpipes um, are blowing there's shattering going off and then i think as a because i've only got 10 uh, hit points. I don't know if actually can I do this? Actually, let me knock off that spell. As a bonus action, oh, that's a creature of my choice. Can I heal him word myself? Yeah. You're oh, a yeah. Creature of your choice. Yeah, I yeah. guess I am. Okay, then. I'm gonna I'm gonna heal him word myself. <laughs> then uh, I'm just like, you snow, you bloody idiot. Get better, will you? I just I just take. I've got like a little shot. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's better. Grand. And that'll be the end of my turn. Wow. Hey, I healed for eight. That's not bad off 2d4. That's not bad. All right. yeah. That's as good as it gets off 2d4. Well, it was plus on... as well, so... Uh, yeah, right. that's On Uthrak's guy. turn... He is going to uh, take the disengage action and climb mm. down to the bottom of the tree. Uh, that's all he can do, really, because he can only climb at half speed. Um, so, but he's he's clearly trying to run away at this point. Um, there's more clamoring about and everything like that. Uh, I jumped the gun when I had said that before. So that is going on. You can hear people getting ready. Um, let's see, do people finally escape the noxious cloud? No. And no. <laughs> yeah, the hey, greatest noxious go. cloud of all time. That has been oh, fantastic. Yes. Jen, yes. You get to I, roll. Do I, your... Where am I? Do I go before or after he leaves the tree? Because I wanted the tree to grapple. Do you him. go after? Because he used a villain action to do the whole wild attack thing. Got so it. that wasn't actually his turn. His turn now. No, was, not. Oh. But he's still. Oh, okay. It was. He's still. He's like at the foot of the tree right now. So he's still within the tree, right? Um, he okay. wasn't able to make it very far. Yeah. Could the tree still grapple him then? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Let's uh, do that uh, attempt to yeah, grapple him. Yeah. It is your turn. So go for it. So yeah, the, the first thing is I want the tree to try and grapple him. And okay. then I will do my stuff. Um, so the tree's strength is a 19, I think. Hi. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, go for it. Roll a d20 and I will roll my strength to avoid it. It's a two. Also not a saving throw, so I can't uh. use nine lives. Yay. So, it's a 16. You grab him. Great. Um, ah, so, I'm going to have the tree. tree. <laughs> Who planted the tree? Uh, grappling. <laughs> um, and then, I would like to... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and show Lely since he's just 
being held there and uh, actually uh, yeah let's just give it a shot because I think that's the best bet at don't this point don't you know yeah I don't I don't have a lot of damaging spells don't you know I should have taken more <laughs> oh well um <laughs> he's looking really bad right terrible <laughs> okay <laughs> just making sure this is worth worth my while to do this not something else nat 20 <laughs> nice oh shit shillelagh to the face so, get crit damage on the shillelagh plus crit damage on the halo of spores uh, not the halo of spores um sorry on the uh da, 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 where is it venus flytrap mouse yes uh which is a extra so it's going to be an additional d6 of damage so do you want me to max it or roll it uh uh roll twice crit. roll twice yeah, yeah. okay with me here why is it pricing Sorry, my mouse is not working. Um, oh, that's a whoop. So, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. How does this happen? Tell me, Jen. Oh! Uh, I, so he's grappled on, grappled on the ground, right? Um, yep. And I am up in the tree. I am going to leap from the tree as the vines come and constrict around him, swinging my shillelagh down, it's going to stab downward, and uh, the vines reach around everywhere, all along his limbs, it encircles him, as all of the pods just snap shut. Oh, oh and there's this uh, uh, incredible muffled cry from the vines as uh the as your plant babies feast and you see beatrice the cruel runs out with like a group of you know a bunch of bandits behind her and they all turn around and flee like scatter wow. in a bunch of directions seeing this sight before them uh yeah. and you solved my bandit puzzle this is now <laughs> where this the good one is this place a cakewalk. These are too easy. The testers are all like, oh, it's going to take seven hours. No, are you kidding me? That was pretty amazing. That was awesome. So we won. So good. So good. Oh. Someone's mic went a bit funny. Yeah, I think it might be here. Oh, I see. Cats? It's, is that yeah. me? Cats. Is that me? Yeah. Oh, it is it's, you, Cat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, your robot voice. So it's weird. Really, it's really total robo. It's really I was a robot the whole time. Whole time. The whole time. No, just the... <laughs> no, just, just like the last thirty seconds. You just revealed yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Still rope. Um... Yeah, it's it's cycling too. There's an echo. Yeah, there's an echo. Yeah, there's an, an echo, echo as well. Awesome. Yeah. Something's going on. Yep. Um, but uh, so everybody, uh, this was just one of twenty-two layers, layers from where evil lives. Um, you that can go awesome. check it out. It's on Backer Kit right now for the rest of the couple of days. Um, before we go, uh, I'd like to give our, our guests a chance to like tell you about themselves, where you can find them. Um, yeah, so your, why don't we stuff. just, yeah, we'll jump right to that. Jen, we can start with you. Tell us where you are, where people <laughs> yeah. can find you. Sure. Um, hi, I'm Jen Kretschmer. You can find me on socials as at DreamWisp, D-R-E-A-M-W-I-S-P. You can find me streaming on Twitch as DreamWisp Jen. Um, I do all sorts of things. I'm an author, I'm a game designer, uh, I am a disability consultant, I am an actor. Um, we are on strike right now, so I am not that. Same with writing. Um, hopefully it ends soon when we get a fair deal. Um, uh, what else? Um, you can catch me every Tuesday on the Demiplane RPG channel in Children of Erte with our DM Deborah Ann Wool as we go through oh, a magical cool. world doing Amazing. fun things. Um, there's it's it's we're coming up it's a really good time to jump on board because we've got we're starting a new arc um and yeah this was so much fun i this was a blast thank you so much for having me 
That's awesome. Thank you for being here. Uh, T1J, Kevin, uh, tell people where they can find you. Um, I think the best thing to do is just um, check out my YouTube, youtube.com slash at T1J. And um, you can find everything else from there. But that's that's like the main thing I do. So just follow yep. that. And yeah, I, I, this was really fun. Thanks for inviting me. Thanks for having me. Thank Thanks you for, for coming here. on. It Thank was awesome. Yeah, here. I've been following uh, T1J's videos for literally years. So yeah, yeah check them out on YouTube. Uh, folks, are, our, our mods are posting people's links in chat in case you're wondering. Uh, yes. Sorry, continue. Cat. Absolutely. Um, Cat, yes, I don't know if you're, how is your sound doing? Am I still a robot? Oh, you're great. You're great. That's Tell good. people okay. where they can find you. All right. I am, uh, let's see, I'm a narrative game designer. I've worked on, like I said, Flea Mortals, Arcadia, uh, and um, yeah, uh, you can find me at steampunkunicornstudio.com, which is my freelance game design company that I own. And oh, that's cool. um, let's see what else. Got yeah, I've worked on I've worked on a bunch of really cool cool things lately, like Betrayal at House on the Hill, or Hero Quest. Uh, I've written a book oh, called wow. How to Be More D and D, um, and I'm also the dungeon master at D20 Dames, which is uh, uh, a family friendly podcast with lots of cozy stories. So I, you know, kind of vacillate between really horror driven, uh, really mean <laughs> hobgoblins to really cozy family friendly stuff. <laughs> Right, the gummy bear. Uh, yes, and, exactly. Uh, from hit point. <laughs> <laughs> so good, so good. Thanks to uh, Jerry. Oh, sorry. Od, yeah. that's right. Od was oh, also here. Well, I have like a, I have like a, I have a normal job that I have to do during the day, <laughs> and then uh, I just do this sometimes at night or during when the day, like to. I am, like I am now. So yeah. I took, the, I, took the, yeah. I took the day off for a few hours off to, to do yeah. this because P- it's PTO, fun. PTO, D and D. Uh, yeah, that's exactly yeah. what I wrote. I said, I need a Amazing. few hours off. I'm going to go and play D&D. And the, the overall response was, you nerd. <laughs> from, from, wow. from, from a bunch of video people. game developers. Yeah, yeah. From uh, video game yeah, I know, right? What a cheat. Uh, I used to do a bit of streaming on Twitch. Dr. OD. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Underscore OD. I haven't done it for yeah. a while. I might you should start do it again. again soon. It was fun. I've, yeah. just been a bit, I've just been a little bit lazy of late. I guess you get those lazy uh this sometimes but i've had a lot of fun doing this uh this was a really fun group i'm uh, great fun to play with you all thanks for uh, well and you colville and uh thanks for running james uh you're a, of a course. wonderful thanks wonderful dm here. and you have a wonderful product here and i wish you all the best also thank thanks you, to jerry thank you very for much setting up the stream and Huge all the graphics thanks, and everything jerry. Yep, yes. thanks to the mods. Yeah, and thank you for to the keeping mods. Us, yep. Yeah, for keeping our community thank amazing. Thank you, mods. Uh, and it was great. It, uh, uh, it was great meeting and getting to hang out with uh, Kat and T1J. Uh, Jen and OD, obviously, oh, I already nice. know. Uh, so thanks for helping us out with this. We appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Yeah, thanks and thank you to me. Paul Hughes cool. for uh, creating these humans in this lair. Yeah, thanks to <laughs> Paul Hughes for making this so easy. I thought it was going to be hard, I thought it was gonna be like a huge slog, and we were going to be like, I think this is the first time I've played Lynn when she made it to the end, because Lynn is very kind of impulsive, and uh, so, you, obviously. You still, still was touch and go there for a minute, I don't know. I, yeah, sure, I yeah, actually touch and go. I, yeah. I mean, y'all played it pretty hey. smart, yeah. you know? You, it was the you, tree. You went the tree in saved the day. Blazing. The tree the saved the day, you didn't the have tree to plan. fight your way Brilliant. through two stories and Brilliant tree plan. And yeah. Well, that's the lead of mystery of dog face for later. That's true. We that still have two more trees. We need two more layers. One tree per there layer. There's a point where I was thinking about that, like what happened in like magic in real time, right? This tree just pops around the corner. This barbarian jumps off and starts attacking. This like dwarf bard burps after down his beer and That's just one. like puts a cloud. And like just all these like just, what element happened? of surprise. Yeah, that was very <laughs> That's right. One hundred percent. It was making yeah. me chuckle while we were actually doing it. I was like, yeah, imagine that. <laughs> yep. Fun yep. times. Yep. I, I want to it's thank James for picking games. the... Stuff like that is. happens. The, 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 no one who's... Yeah, this is, it's a very, it's, this is a very unique playthrough. I want to thank James for picking yes. the easiest, the easiest layer in the book. <laughs> uh, but uh, the, the book has, is it like level one through to level 20? Two, two, two to 20. Two to 20. 
two to twenty. Two to twenty. Yeah, makes sense. Oh, is it two to twenty? Yeah. Uh, Dude, anyway, there's a couple doubled up. Yeah. Yeah. It's super cool. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for doing this. This was awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everybody. It was so much fun. <laughs> well,